All right, what's poppin', man? You already know, man. Y'all really might not like this pod. Let's say the real name. Y'all might not like this pod. Y'all might not like this pod. But you really might not like it, though. But you really might. But you might you might like it. But you might you might fuck with it. Jay, you might like it. I love it. <laughs> Do you love it though? I love it. I don't believe you. You showed up in this motherfucker with. <laughs> Well, that's what we're doing today? Yeah, you know. showed up in this motherfucker with the that's same shit you had on last that? time. Like, what the fuck is going on? So you had a, clearly you had a unique story. So we need to know what the fuck. That's, oh, that's the context Yo, of this nigga wait till the camera on to go, yo, tell me the story. Why yeah, you I'm just trying to figure out, like, what the fuck? Like, you came yo. in this motherfucker. Man, shit, if it's a story, I mean, this is the time to tell it. I'm thinking, bro. I'm not doing this. I'm thinking. Like, I was def I'm definitely not telling the story on camera. Oh, so we're going to talk about stars being reserved and you ain't going to tell us. Oh, wow. Wow. Look at the pot calling the kettle black. Ain't mm -hmm. That's exactly what he said. Wow. Stars uh, don't never. I'm a you black nigga, be, though. I'm black. I ain't you be saying you be gaslighting. Blackity black to black oh, black, yo. Gaslighting. You know, niggas is famous for gaslighting. I'm definitely famous for gaslighting. Apparently, people in y'all comment section thought I was gaslighting too. Oh, man. Yeah, yeah. It felt, it felt a little weird. All right, so, uh, uh, you know what? I'm going to say forget people in Star's comments okay. and forget people in Jay Hill's comments. Oh, well, that's but positive. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all, but it was a little mean. What, what was mean about it? Nah, yo, because he nah, just cut the clip. First of all, Jay Hill cut the clip, and he cut the clip special mm -hmm. to make me look like an special dick Tell me, first of all, I never, I never be thinking, hey, how can I make somebody look like a dick in this pot? That's clip? exactly how you think. That's not how I think. I'm thinking what's going to get the attention the most. And if I leave this And if in, somebody gets rolled over under the bus in the process, well, you said happens. it. So you Jay. said it though. But right. it, but there's stuff before and after the clip to give context to what we don't need people. context. Listen, when you give too much context, <laughs> then people don't have shit to say. Just like the the motherfucking uh, dress, how you want to be addressed. If you if it had too much context, it would make sense. That's that's pointless. So Life that means pointless. somebody's got to get run over by the bus. Hey Jay, and, have I not? And, and, true, and this week was was my opportunity. You know, sometimes people see if you say something legit, they pull it up. Like we said the week before, you was the man on the other clip yeah. right. because you said something about intellect. Every woman said something like, it was the intellect for me. Yeah, it wasn't me. I know you was <laughs> feeling yourself then. It made me yeah. look like a materialistic I nigga. I didn't read comments that week. But I read oh, comments wow. this week. Yeah, you pick and choose when you, you want to read the comments. What's our pick and choose when you I read the convenient comments? convenient gaslighting ass nigga. Ooh. Oh. Titles. So let me ask you though, because don't, don't, don't make, don't make it seem it. like I'm unfair. I've literally called you on occasions and say, hey, <laughs> what's, what's a clip that's going to make me look bad? I literally have you, done You've done that once or twice. Right. So don't say, I don't just be looking and literally, if it was that bad, I'd be literally looking at clips. I'm like, all right, bet. I think people going to focus. That's like, because you knew that it wasn't good to make anybody else look bad bro, in that no, scenario. So true. you wanted to take the heat off of everybody else, which is cool. I'm with you on that. But I'm cool with getting hit by the bus every now ain't and no then. Bus. All I'm saying is, bro, you say all you right. got a podcast, but you don't. Because clearly you showed up like you ain't had no love in, in you. That is not true at all. That's bullshit. So what happened? That's bullshit. So, all right. So I, had I, wanted... a I, I, I had a busy morning. Okay. Things got complicated. And I wanted to make sure I was here on time. Well, let's clear it so, up since we're going to talk about it. I don't want any gray areas to our right, viewers. Right. Uh, Jazz One came in here today with the same shit he had on last week. <laughs> the same shit. The same exact no, shit. Because that's what it was. No. Some shit. Um, He's a I was appalled. I oh, asked so. him. Chad I thought I was in the Twilight Zone. Him. I thought I had deja vu. But really, he genuinely came in here. I thought that he... I'm sorry. Honestly. Okay. Because I know how big of a fan he is yes. of Nipsey Hussle. Yeah. I thought he had multiple I shirts. thought he had flavors. So I asked myself, did First he have First of all, I do have flavors. Let's on? clarify that for the people. I have mad French y'all shirts. Well, you got to show us. That. You got to show us. What about capris? You got mad capris? <laughs> hey, yo, every, these, every, are not, these are shorts, nigga. No, they these not, are not the capris. What type of shorts are those? <laughs> these are regular jean shorts, no, my nigga. And you wearing the same jeans you was wearing last week? What the no, hell? I'm not, I'm not doing nothing. These Just because you done came with your Jesus Birkenstocks, don't make you different now. Yo, this nigga feel like he on special time, bro. You are not going to do that to me, bro. Wait, wait, wait. Are these the same? I did have the same shirt yeah, it's on. okay, but something happened. I'm cool. I'm trying to get context. I'm not I'm trying not to- I'm not giving you context on what jeans, happened. Bro. I just bought those jeans that week. Sorry. If they were, I would've told you though. I, I mean- Yeah, I don't care, Neva. I wish. Yeah, I wear the same jeans, jeans a couple right times we, I got like had, a good five pairs. Had a hard bro. day. <laughs> I'm a real nigga. I'm not about to make sure I was here on time. I did fuck up and wear the same shirt. My bad. All right. That's all good. That's, that's all we Accountability. We talk about Accountability, man. Pound it up for that. Pound it up for that. Was I not accountable off camera? You were a little quiet. You were a little quiet. Spice up the beginning of the show. I need reassurance. I wanted to start the show off a little different though. Okay. Outside of gaslighting. And I was in a little movie for me, so I wanted to. It wasn't even like a real thing. I wanted to ask y'all, like, you know, how was y'all week? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I used to ask my uh, my team that, and I was wondering, like, what's going on, man? How y'all feeling? Like, not just 
surface level shit, but like, how do y'all really feel right now? Now I feel like this whole show, you setting me up to say something crazy about me oh as soon as I... Just, just tell them how you feel like. Oh, weak was, bro. Show, but you set yourself up coming here with the same fucking shirt on, but... I mean, we're going to keep bringing it up. You're going to keep bouncing yeah, off you keep shit. Back. You keep bouncing back, we're going to bounce back. Now, not, back to the original thing. How was your week, JS1? <laughs> yeah, the, how do you feel, though? Like, my week was phenomenal, bro. I had a beautiful week. Past your week, though, like, how do you feel? You mean past my week? No, I'm saying, like... This, In general, how yeah. do you feel? How do you feel? I feel wonderful. Wow. One to ten. One to ten. Yeah. How you feeling? Ten. Wow. Ten. I like Straight it. Ten. Wow. I fucking like it. Clap it up for a fucking ten in this bitch. Yeah. First of all, we can clap it up for the ten. Self-loving this motherfucker. But he asked the question, "Why?" Mm -hmm. I'm healthy. Went to the doctors. Yes. Oh, that's clean fire. bill of health. Okay. Mm, you know what I mean? Exciting. They said my blood pressure just a smidge high, but it wasn't over. Okay. You know what I mean? Um, that's a great feeling. Yeah, bro. Work went smooth. Mm -hmm. Wasn't no drama at work. So like easy money. I DJed up wedding yesterday. Got mm. cash for that. You know what I mean? Well, extra so, money ain't bad. Time with the lady. That's cool. Okay. So everything been smooth, bro. She got central air. I don't. So I've been staying in her crib. That's a good idea. You know what I'm saying? Right. A bigger I don't have to put them big ass decision. AC units in my window. Hello, northern parts of America. Look at okay. that, man. Okay. Glad you and got, the cicadas are starting to die to down a little bit. It ain't as bad. Man. The cicadas ain't Shit. as bad in my neighborhood. Nah, Shit, them motherfuckers out here gangsters. They, cicadas <laughs> is gangsters, nigga. These <laughs> niggas out here smacking the shit out you and dying. I keep forgetting, y'all rich niggas. So y'all live out here with the woods and the, and I got you, the Bugattis and all that shit. But us city niggas, it's not guy as necessary. the room with the best car. Right, like, <laughs> hey, man, y'all niggas lit out here. You know? I'm trying to give y'all compliments. I can't give you compliments. No, with an underhanded compliment. One to ten, here we go. Huh? One to ten, man. How, how are you, dog? I'm feeling unrealistic. I'm feeling um, feeling nine-ish. I feel like you can always have space for more. Yeah. I feel like positive things are going on. You dropped that video clip on your gram, nigga. You, yeah, man, album you coming. Popping, I'm excited. You popping your shit. You back yeah, on your shit. Yeah, it's a, it's a good it's a good time for me, man. I think you know. Thank thank Jay Hill every day for giving me another outlet to you know show my personality so people do come in. Cause I got a lot of love now off the pod, even in public. I told him another day I was at a I walked in this apartment building. My friend lives, and I you know I ain't live there and I had no mask, so I just walked past walk past the desk and shit real fast. Like oh shit, and she was like excuse me. I was like oh shit. I ain't got no mask. Shit, let me not say shit. Mm -hmm. She turned around like she put her mask down. She was like, "Ain't you in that pod?" I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> "I'm like, yeah, yeah it's me." She's like, well, "I love your pod." I was like, yeah, it's so I always see that. So it's just dope to be a part of that. And people just loving, you know what I mean? The drastic change, but um, you know, dope. Um, no, I definitely think aesthetic it's that we have. It's definitely fine. I think I'm at like a, what about like a six or seven? Oh, Damn. yeah, like maybe like a no seven. self care. You ain't take a bubble bath or something. Like, what's going on? What's the you take bubble baths, Jay? Oh, if I'm bubble, really right? stressed out, hell yeah. There's Nothing other bubbles needed. Other bubbles needed? Fuck yeah, what's wrong with some bubbles? No, bubbles Asking genuine questions. I'm not trying to put y'all there. Shit, bro. You drop the ball in there or you just, or you squeeze? No, 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 I get the liquid stuff. I definitely drop, I definitely oh, drop oh, you the ball. ball. That's rich nigga shit that had to Yeah, yeah, yeah. It'll just be like $30 sometimes. I get mine from the dollar store. So yeah, I'm not doing $30 to drop the ball then. But your shit disappear real fast. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's only about 20. Like soon as the water get lukewarm, nigga, you can see through everything. Balls showing and everything. Yeah, yeah. Wait, what? Really? Yo, here we go. Just move along. It was definitely service and you had to go down deep in that post. All right, anyway. What's going on? No, you feeling like a don't go down deep, yo. Just say I'm not right. going down deep. I said you was going no, down no, deep. No, anyway, no. Jay, well, go ahead, why Jay. do you feel like a six or seven today? I don't know. I feel like you know, uh, definitely got a lot of good shit going on. Yeah, possibly. But I think I'm just, I'm, 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 I'm in the space where, like, I want to be ready for like the what's next, right? But I, um, as I got older, I, I started to understand like a lot of times we're not. We're not there because we aren't ready yet, no matter how much we feel like we're ready, right? Mm -hmm. So, like, I'm in a space where it's like I'm asking myself or I'm really asking God to, like, help me be ready, right? Mm -hmm. Like, I, like whatever, whatever I need to be, I want to be in that space and I want to be exactly where I want to be when the time is right. Mm -hmm. I mean, at, at first, it used to be, like, impatient of, like, you know, I want to be there. And I'm still kind of impatient, but now it's less of impatience and it's just, like, just taking it step by step. You feel me? Like, whatever it's going to be, it's going to be, you know, like... um. If we, we're going to do the podcast, the podcast is going to do this many numbers, it's going to do that many numbers. If it's going to be something else, it's going to be something else. So I say a seven because it's kind of like, it's kind of like uncertainty a little bit, right? We talked about that last week and it's like, man, I, I just don't know. And it's like, part of me is okay with that, but I'm not used to that, mm -hmm. right? I'm so used to wanting more and more and more and more. And it's like, you know what? Like, I mean, it is what it is type of thing. And, and I was going to ask y'all. So are you saying that you feel a little bummed out because you've kind of settled yeah, and then you don't feel that edge or that that right, and I and that's crazy because that's they have that. to, and and no, nah, you're right, and mm -hmm. I was gonna that let let me into the um to the, my next question. That's crazy that I, I never even thought about it like this, and um that question was you know when did y'all at what stage of your life or because both of y'all older than me, what stage of your life did you 
were you okay with not being the person you used to be? Mm. Mm. Well, first of all, I love the fact that I'm not the person I used to be because mm. I see that I've evolved. But when did you the become okay The time that, that I really realized that things had changed was 35 for me. Like once I hit 35, but 30 was, 30 was big for me. But 30 was the realization that I can't be a child anymore. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I'm not saying that I lost my childhood, but I really, 30, I felt like I transitioned. 35 is when I, it really hit me like, yo, you are the dumbest nigga that ever lived, number one. And that, to me, that's a relief. It's one thing when you feel like you know everything, that means you always got to prove shit or you always trying to defend your knowledge or your, or your skill set. But like once you, and, and when I hit th the place of 35, I felt like this calm. I don't need to prove shit to people anymore. Um, I know what I know. I'm comfortable with that. And uh, I'm now able to pull from the wisdom of the past to kind of help me make decisions, mm -hmm. you know, for the future versus when I was younger, I didn't really feel like I had that much base to pull from. But right. like, you know what I mean? Um, <clears throat> I think it was 30 for me. For real? Yeah, I mean, I was, you know, I've been through so much shit <laughs> in my life as far as like career, um, entrepreneurship. It don't look oh. like it, dog. Like, yeah, oh, no, 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 no. Because you're looking 26 out here, bro. Yeah, you Seriously. Looking, you're looking good, dog. I mean, I mean, but no, it's, it's, had it's a, a mind life. state. It's definitely a mind state. Because, yeah, because, I mean, it's y'all don't, y'all don't want to, I don't want to tell y'all all the, the bad shit. You know what I'm saying? Every now and then I let niggas know, like, you know, this shit get real. But in all honesty, it's about always trying to grow and be better. But a thing about this is the past thing. I guess me wanting to be a, a, a just a rapper. It was 30. It was like, mm -hmm. all right, you got to do some other stuff. Wow. Because you uh, have done a lot. You have mastered this whole music thing. You're good at it. But what else do you have to give the world? Mm -hmm. So I started, um, and then that's when directing fell in my lap from Dog. Uh, executive producer for Detronada and um, she, her needing videos and you know connecting with Maggie because she shoot videos and then I found that I had a gift in um, actually helping artists put visuals out that they can love and um, I can help them prosper with but besides that also songwriting something that I was doing quietly trying to make some extra money it's like no I'll be loud about it be proud about it like let people know you're that good that right. you can write like mostly R&B you know <laughs> now do you okay. feel more free knowing that you could do more or do you feel like, damn, I gotta do more Doing more, work. more or finding out I'm good at other things mm -hmm. helped it easier on the idea of maybe not making it rapping. Mm -hmm. So I think, and it's like, that's when it's like, the reality became more clear, I guess. Yeah, but it's not or reality not clear, more so than, like, it's your, the less opportunities you have to succeed, the less opportunities you have to be successful. the person you wanna be. Okay. Successful. All right. So yeah, me just rapping and just trying to do the rapping thing, that means that's the only way I do it. But if I make it directing and, and I make it big off directing or whatever, now I have money that can fund it. It's kind of like, I, I love looking at people like The Dream, Neo, Kerry Hilson. Like they were involved with a lot of things and they were writers. And once they got popping as writers and other adventures they were doing, they put their own music out mm -hmm. their own way with their own money, especially See, The Dream. For me, you know, as much as like I'm okay with where I'm at, is other spaces that are like I'm, I'm almost not okay with, but. It's like I'm okay, but I don't want to be okay with it. Mm. For example, like, you know, I've been um, trying to get a trainer because, like, I just feel different, right? <clears throat> and, I, like, when I was young, I always had the, the energy to get up and go to the gym. I didn't need nobody to motivate me. And, like, yeah, that energy changed and, and transferred to other things because I don't need really people to motivate, motivate me to do what I love to do. But, like, when I was younger, like, I used to love to go to the gym. You know what I'm saying? It was never a day I wasn't in the gym. And then now it's like I'm looking at myself, man, like, I got to lose some weight, bro. You feel me? And it's like, I know other people probably look at it like, well, you tripping. But me, it's like, I really want to be where I used to be at as far as like size. Right? Mm -hmm. And it's like, part of me is like, man, what the fuck is going on? Because like, it's for me in my mind, it's easy because it's always been easy. Like, bro, you just get up, go to the gym. Like, I used to just go to the gym after the club or whatever it can be. And it's like, now I just, it's just like, I'm not there no more. It's like, I don't, and then like, part of that is like, it's frustrating because it's like, I want it to be there, but. Also, it's frustrating because, like, honestly, I'm kind of cool that I'm not doing it, if that makes sense. I know it probably sounds conflicting, but it's like, man, when did you, and that's why I asked y'all, because it's like, for me, it's like, I'm, I'm battling that right now. Like, battling being okay that I'm not who I used to be, but also kind of wanting those same attributes in the old me, if that makes sense. I mean, actually, this question, uh, 
it's different ways of doing so. I'm gonna let you talk. I'm go go ahead. But it's definitely different ways of looking at that mm. because, like you said, the gym thing. It's like, yeah, you don't want to do it no more. But does that mean that you can't find other ways to be fit? You know mm. what I'm saying? That you don't have to. Maybe that. Maybe that you don't feel like waking up in the morning and doing that anymore. But maybe you can just eat better. Maybe you can look into the ingredients of what you're actually putting in your body to do stuff. It's well, like maybe go for it. a morning run. You yeah. know what I mean? Get up, run because you got a big ass complex. Right? Yeah, right. So you can run around the complex. Maybe you know what I mean, and just find, like he said, find other ways. You don't have to, to be lifting same. weights. I you already right. big enough. Yeah, I definitely don't. No, I don't want to lift weights, or I don't want to. I hate yeah. that shit. But I, um, I think you know another part of it is I, I'm definitely, I'm definitely like got a lot on my plate right now. Like I'm working every fucking day, like literally, and like I've gotten to the space where I can like pay people to like do things or whatever, like little things that I might need help to do, and that definitely helps. But it's like I'm still working every fucking day, and it's like, bro, when I'm off, I'm trying mm. to chill. You know what I'm saying? It's like, I want to just relax mm-hmm. and enjoy my day. But like, I don't know. I was curious, man. I was just asking y'all that. Well, I know one thing, like when you get older, you know, of course, the old you is part of the younger you. Mm. You know what I mean? And you have to also understand, it's the reason you're getting tired when you're outside now. You, you used to be out at five in the morning. Mm-hmm. I mean, now, shit, around 12, 31, I'm getting looking like, man, what we about to do? Because, shit, I'm about to hit this little Wendy's up and go ahead to the crib for real. Yeah. I feel um, like it's, it's natural. Like, yeah. Any any six. I, I'm sorry. I mean, oh no, it's super fine. I feel like it's natural. Oh, look at this. Shut up. Shut up. <laughs> I, I, you know what I mean? I, I definitely feel like it is natural for any successful person as you get older to become more regimented, meaning that you you learn how to allocate your time more properly. You know what I mean? You make sure you l- utilize the time more effectively, mm-hmm. so that way you know you get more done. Like yeah, you different now, but think about it, brother. Like you wasn't, you weren't this busy when you were younger mm. you might have been busy doing busybody shit you know what i mean but this is business now so like every day you got to make sure you on point and all of the nuanced details that you become accustomed to taking care of you know what i mean that's it's a lot bro shout first of all i'm sorry shout out to the team man we got geo leo's <laughs> in the building hey. monte base god is in the building hey. my guy alex is here and malachi is here too i say uh shout out to the team because alex is definitely sending me shit and i'm just thinking and it makes sense he was like you know basically like what motivates you in different seasons. And I think at that moment when I was working out, it was like fresh off of playing sports. So like mm-hmm. I already was like used to it, right? So like mm-hmm. I didn't need to be motivated because like that's what I love to do. Right mm-hmm. now, like you ain't really gotta, you ain't gotta ask me twice about, you ain't yet gotta ask me once about any of this content shit because that's what I'm motivated. Right, that's right. what I'm focused on right now. And it's like, man, I wanna be focused on both. Like I wanna go to the fucking gym. Like I shouldn't be hitting niggas asking, t- t- asking them what's their training prices. Like nigga, I used to, Niggas used to hit me about training. Now mm-hmm. I ask the niggas to train me. Like, what the fuck is going on? But it's like, I think I gotta, gotta just let go of that, what used to be, because that's just not mm-hmm. the same J I no think, more. I think you gotta normalize just uh, accepting new adventures. Yeah. Different times in your life, it's different things happening. Like, that's yeah. God showing you through your, through your passions that you have other things to work on. Mm. So instead, find things that you are excited about, are doing well, and as long as you're staying active, other things to work out, like I said, it's different ways to like eating is a big thing. Mm-hmm. Like you can really work out in the same aspect by just eating different because you don't want to do a lot but just lose in certain areas. It's not like you're trying to get big. Yeah, you I'm really want to work out to stay healthy. So a part can be eating, walking more, stop driving every fucking where. You know what I'm saying? It's hard out here because you live. I said, "What the fuck am I? Wait, wait. Yeah, I forgot you live in the boom. So <laughs> regular people walking but, more. Okay. In the words, in the words, jump of, on um, that 95 and walk. In the words, JS one. You know, normal people yeah, in normal yeah. neighborhoods." can walk to normal markets and stores more and can help them out. You know what I'm saying? But I feel like you should really embrace this moment and find out, okay, what's next? Because that passion is always going to be in you. Mm -hmm. You have to just find things to show it through. Yo, you bring up a a great point. I think I asked this before, um, like on one of my interviews or something like that. But like, just because you're passionate about something, right? Like how how do you separate or differentiate your passion versus your purpose? Like just because you're passionate about something don't mean that's your purpose. Well, you have to find your, your purpose through passions. Because that's one thing that's definitely going to be attached to your purpose is the passion of it. Is that always going to be the case, though? What do, who, who does something? Look at Kobe. Kobe loved to play basketball. Yeah, he but worked that, hard towards it. does that mean that was his purpose in life? That definitely was Kobe Bryant's purpose. Or how he makes people feel. Or inspiration was his purpose. And the, ins- the way he inspired people was through him playing being basketball. regimented and playing basketball. He definitely, without a shadow of a doubt, was a um, light. Mm, that's a fact through his talent mm. no that's a fact you man i don't know man i ain't i came to this conversation just with so many questions bro and i think what we talked about um this before like you know just like talking 
through ourselves. Like sometimes we'd be talking, but it'd be like through ourselves. Mm -hmm. And I was asking like, man, I was wondering like, man, cause y'all are talented individuals. I'm like, yo, what makes us happy? Like as men, cause I like, I think I was listening to the girls podcast or whatever. And they was just like, they was just bullshit and having fun and shit like that. And I'm just like, like, I don't know. I was just thinking like, what, what, like, what is it that makes y'all happy? Because I wanted to talk about this. I, po I posted this Kim Kardashian and shit, right? Mm -hmm. And she was talking about um, what she wanted from her next mate, boyfriend or whatever the case may be. But before I go there, I want to know, like, what, without anybody else, if there's nobody else on this earth, right, what makes you happy as an individual? Teaching. Mm. And that where it's broad. I feel like if I can inspire or teach someone something that I know that I can give them to help them, become better them, a better, better individuals, then my purpose is that. It's a reason I, on this podcast, speaking like this, it's a reason why I had a nonprofit with children. It's a reason why I do artist development and teach women how to write music. It's a reason why, you feel me, I direct videos. It's because I wanna make people better. I think that's my purpose and I'm totally cool with that. So how do you feel in those moments when you're so invested or you're, you're so in love with the fact that you, you can teach somebody, right? Mm -hmm. But when that other person don't accept it or rejects it, how does that make you feel in that moment? Or doesn't um, quite... Uh, they don't listen. They don't receive it as yeah. I want them to. Yeah. Um, you know, trials and errors, everything. I mean, it, it definitely going... You don't feel away. I mean, we're human. But, I mean, you know, there's many artists I try to help out or try to do something for and something I misconstrued. And now it's, you know what I mean? It's, it's, not as, it's not as healthy as I would want it to be. But it's more so of trial and error. Like, it's everything. Like, to find your passion, you have to try shit out. You know what I'm saying? So well, we're not talking about passion. We're talking about like, just what makes you happy. So I wanna... That makes me happy. So doing, doing that, I know it makes me happy. Well, teaching somebody. Because yeah, teaching somebody. Some people, yeah, of course, some people don't take your teachings well, but some people don't take it in like you want to. But then the people that do, that's way more success that I've had than people that are not. Jay, what makes you happy just as an individual? As a man, as a person? I, you know, I find it so interesting because I actually was asked this question um, multiple times this week. And it's, it surprised me to realize that the thing that makes me happiest is just experiences. I mean, negative experiences, positive experiences. I feel like whenever I go through something unique, it makes me excited. Even, even if it's tragedy or some drama, like, you know what I mean? I feel like I love being challenged to just be in the moment or to deal with something. Um, you know, food, different experiences, like, you know what I mean? Relationship experiences, meeting new people, like, those are the things that make me the happiest. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Like, I, and that's probably the biggest element of travel. That's when people be like, uh, I don't like this. Like, you ever been to like California and different places and they be wanting you to go to the same places, high end hotel or like go to some expensive thing. But it'd be like, bro, like I be wanting when I go to different places, I want to see what that place is really about. You know what I mean? The nuanced stuff. Like mm. that stuff makes me excited. And I'll I think ahead. that's a space that I want to get to because like I'm more so on the side of like stars. Right. And it's not really teaching, but. One thing that stuck out stood, stood out to me, right, and um, and this is ties into the post, and I'm gonna get to. <clears throat> when somebody don't, this is just from what you said, from what mm -hmm. I got. When mm -hmm. somebody doesn't take your teachings the way you would like them to take it, it makes you feel away, and I think it takes away from your happiness a little bit because they don't receive it the way you you would like them to receive. But that ties into him with experiences because what I'm doing so. is I'm learning how to do it better through the people that don't how receive it. But now you does, but it make you feel away, right? I mean, yeah, because 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 you know why it does because my teachings can come out arrogant and that's not what it is. But no, no, let me finish. So like, if I'm just truly trying to show you something and you take it the wrong way, me trying to passionately explain that it wasn't that way sometimes doesn't go as smoothly as you want because right. people are so used to people doing bad things and being bad and having ill will towards them because the world went in. It's really fucking hard to just see somebody who truly but is outside, just a good person. Outside of you being arrogant or anything like that, mm -hmm. if you came the perfect way, the, 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 the most humble way you could, right, and you was trying to teach somebody something and they didn't take it or they didn't listen to you, would it make you feel away? See, it's, you're Honestly. making it feel like it's a personal thing, but really it's be like, oh, well, you know. No, I'm just saying, like, if, 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 if as a teacher, I would like them to. Because at the end of the day, it would hurt him because as a teacher, so that's what his I'm saying. goal so, isn't being accomplished. Right, so that's what I'm saying. So okay, I think, and, that, so, and that look, so, yeah, but I wouldn't be, I wouldn't be torn about no, it. It's I not it. something that would but bother it, 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 it me. Can still, it can but it's still a feeling make, that happens. Right, yes. so. And what Unless it was somebody he truly believed in, and he was personally mentoring. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I think the difference is just from, like, the age gap is, you know, what makes you happy is something that nobody else has a piece of. Right. Nobody can ever. What makes you happy is something that you do. Right. Right. What makes you happy is something that you give it to somebody else, but somebody else don't always have to receive it. And I say that because 
kind of like how I feel. You feel me? I think about like what makes me happy is like I, I, all everything I say is like accomplishing goals, right? And yeah, on the surface it sounds like me accomplishing goals, but what what is a goal accomplished to you, right? So like let's say the podcast being successful, that's subjective on how many people listen to the podcast, mm -hmm. right? So my happiness is based on somebody else, and I'm just a realist. Like I'm mm -hmm. always being real with my feelings, so like I'm always being vulnerable when I can have these conversations. But like when I hear you say, you know, experience is like. <clears throat> I'm not there yet. That's the place I want to be, right? Yeah. And that's why I say like the seven this morning because it's like, yo, I feel it. It's almost there because I'm able to have these conversations, mm -hmm. right? And that's why I ask like, what makes you happy? And teaching is dope. Don't get it fucked up. But it's like, yo, my happiness still almost kind of determines it's based on somebody else. Well, then in that case, which is a, this is a, an amazing point. And, and be seeing that, something that makes me happy on my own is definitely music. Mm. Okay. But I, I, I will say it like this. I've spent a lot of my life shooting for the stars and not even getting 20 feet over me. Damn. You know what I mean? Like, I've faced a lot of failure, 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 failure for a long time. So, like, it's like if I was to hinge my confidence or my happiness based off of me achieving a goal that I might have been shooting for, I probably would have bit a bullet. But, you know what I'm saying? Like, you, I, I had to find a way to be happy and enjoy my life without necessarily being able to get to that space. I envy you for having that drive and you being able to take that drive and mold it into the success that you enjoy. You know what I mean? It, may, it, it hurts my heart to see that you've been able to accomplish so much, but then you be so dismayed just internally because it's like, damn it. Like, you know what I mean? Because it'd be like, I'd be celebrating for you. I'd be like, nigga, you just did this. And you'd be like, nah, man, this ain't shit. Nah, yo, this ain't nothing. And I'd be like, what do you mean it's nothing? And you'd be like, nah, nigga, because I should have did. Blah. Mm -hmm. And I'm trying to get here next time. And I'd be like, Jay, like, we, j you just won. Like, right. take this win and celebrate it. And you, and you know, you'll step back and be like, all right, you're right, you're right. But <laughs> it's always that. But next time, yo, we want to do this and we want to do that. And I respect you for that. And I try not to be too on you about it, you know what I mean? But uh, I think that's one thing that makes you unique mm. and it makes you powerful in that way. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And I learned from you in that way of how to harness that, uh, that aggression and that power to create the success. Yeah, no, no, to add on that before you start, Jay, like hands down, you're definitely one of my most inspiring friends. Damn, appreciate because, that. Because, because I'm, I'm, I'm there with you. And, and because, you know, we live together uh, for real. So it was like next to each other at least. And like, we literally live the same life of trying to figure this shit out. Mm -hmm. And if anything, having you on my side, going through this life like this and seeing you still kicking it and figuring out ways, has helped me tremendously. That's why the respect is so crazy with us. Man, I, you finish. I wish I could love the uh, Alex Middle Girk one again, man. Uh, I wish I could love, <sighs> let me say it. Let me, let me, let me... I don't want, I don't want... <laughs> I don't want to fuck it up, man. <laughs> what are you doing? Stop. No, no, no. He was fixing my camera. I was letting him know, like, get my shit right. Make sure my shit ain't blurry. Yeah. Stay want to wire my shit I ain't out. get my hair done for nothing. Oh, my god. I ain't gosh. get the fresh Yankee fit for nothing. First of all. Like, I, I really wish I could, uh, you know, love the, the, the path to success mm. as much as, well, I can't even say I love the but destination, why? right? Why because I, didn't, I haven't gotten there yet. What do you mean? You're on the path to success. Right, but I don't. Moment. I don't think that. You know how some people are like, man. I just love to be able to go get it. Like, like yeah, I love being able to be a go getter. But I can't. I'm not about to sit up here and say, man, I love having a having the, a the hustle, art of hustling. Having, no. You know what I'm saying? Like, you, you, it's oh, cool. You don't love the struggle. Yeah, it's like, nope, bro, nope. like nobody loves the struggle. I think people. It's like it's, the prize is so big to people. You feel me that you you want to love the hustle, but no, you love the idea of you getting closer to the prize. Mm. So you don't love the hustle. You don't love waking up at six, seven in the morning to go out and work until five because you need overtime for whatever the case it may depends, be. It depends, so, bro. But no, it real depends. quick, real quick. No, you're right. I want I want to want to back out to Jay and how he's feeling right now. Something I do want you to start doing is something that everybody in this room should start doing: celebrating the small wins on the road mm -hmm. to success. Mm -hmm. That is so important, and I mean. You changing this podcast over and making it your own and now having your own identity and more so than having a partnership with someone, which nothing was wrong for, that was a small win. A champagne bottle should have been popped. We should have all went to dinner. Mm. Things of that nature. And we need to start being like that and being friends to our friends when they see small wins happening. Damn. Make you stopping them and be like, yo, I celebrate congratulations. Mm -hmm. Like, you, we don't hear it enough. Mm. We all have this giant goal to be this huge. Everybody wants to be so huge. When it's like, yo, it is so many small areas. Before you get here, 
these moments are so crazy. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Before you mm-hmm. start traveling in the world, yeah, the first, yeah, you can't go every fucking year. But mm-hmm. shit, maybe the first time you do two times in one year, it's like, man, I finally, I done made enough money to do it twice now. You know then what you get is? to a point where you're doing it four or five times. Mm-hmm. But it still was amazing when you just did it twice. Mm-hmm. And before you get to be the, the, the regional manager of that store, it was still dope becoming the assistant manager. But you know what that and is? And becoming the manager. You- like, everybody has small wins that we seem to skip over because we had this goal of being the most richest, successful, happiest people I think in the world. Fact, it, what, what, what I think you're doing, and I think that, that needs to be done in all aspects of life, I yes. think like you're recreating the idea of success of what success looks like right because mm-hmm. i feel like i say this a lot we are we in this instagram world right and it's not it's not ig as an instagram it's ig as an instant gratification mm-hmm. right so it's like we want to be at level 10 not understanding to get to level 10 you got to get to level two right so like when you get to level two let's celebrate that because guess what that's success that's what successful people do and just another small way just to give him another example and jay i'm gonna let you talk um when we when you notice that the shares had the sharing of the video had sur- sur- surpassed another video on its own, but it was like, yo, this is the most we ever like had for our shares. Mm-hmm. That's a small win. We've never done that before. Mm. It's something that's a peak of something. Mm. Right. Why isn't that celebrated? Why isn't that be like, yo, why didn't you put that in your story? Hey, yo, the most shit. Don't you gotta say numbers. Yo, I just had the most shares ever. Thank y'all for that video. Da, 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 da. Yo, we next time we'll do more, hopefully. Let people know, like, oh shit. Like it's okay. Like it's every the little things like that is like I watch people do it sometimes, some people don't, but that's something you definitely should start doing more because mm. your small successes, the people are watching you are inspired, like I am, yeah. watching you do this podcast, need to know that you also are having these small moments that so when they get there and they have those small moments, they also can be happy because they know this is this is something to be celebrated. I also would like to say that like being, I think the highest height I enjoy, you know what I'm saying, to, the, to date would have been the radio station getting to a certain place. And let me tell you something, bro. Like, I got up every day excited as fuck, bro. Mm. Whether we was doing bad or good, when things were dark and going bad, I was excited because I was, for the first time in my life, able to eat off of what I was doing. Mm. So, like, that's, that's it's something that's, unattainable a lot of times for real so yeah, yeah. It, i didn't mind fighting for it i didn't mind getting them dollars and whether it was enough or not enough bro it was everything so i will tell you there is a space where the struggle fit. well for me it felt good you know what i mean because i had already broken through a certain space and i had gotten to a, a level and it was just like every day all i got to do it's find my way through, and that and that felt great. And you know what's crazy about life, bro? Because there's so many sides of it, right? But you know, like not celebrating your small wins or just your wins in general, it can come off as arrogant, as mm. crazy as it may sound, because it's always somebody who is not doing as good as you, mm-hmm. right? So it's like somebody that's looking at you, like, man, I wish I was there. And the audacity of you to say this ain't nothing, mm-hmm. like, are you serious? Like, bro, imagine how somebody who don't have a hundred shares, Thanks. right, or who don't have a hundred listens or whatever the case may be, right? Like, so it's like, that could be arrogant as well, even though we, that's not our intention. Two mm-hmm. things about that. One, what we just talked about, what makes you happy? And it doesn't involve other people. Mm-hmm. Your happiness is your happiness. Right. And another thing is, I don't say brag. That's why I said it's ways to do it and it's smart ways to do it, to inspire. Mm-hmm. These are the, I just got, the, we just got the most shares ever on episode three of any pod that we've shot. Yeah. Man, it feels good to know that y'all watching and y'all really fucking with us like that. Right. Keep mm-hmm. it up. Because the, that same statement can be said by anybody in the room and any inspiration thing they're doing, anything that they're mm-hmm. striving towards, that can be their conversation too. Mm. Not what some, that's the problem with Instagram now. Everyone looks at a certain number of what success is, whether it's your, your followers, your likes, the views, all these things. We, like it's a number, but no, it's not the number that, we not, you're not Beyonce, you're not gonna get 8 million likes. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? On something, but you might get a thousand likes on something that you are inspired to show the world and a thousand people like it. And it's okay to be happy about it. Mm-hmm. And it's, it's not arrogant, it's not cocky. It's, it's this, the road to success and you understanding that it's a long road. And I'll be damned if I'll be depressed because I'm not at the top yet through the whole drive. So, I, so mm-hmm. the, the curveball is, right? This whole entire conversation I, I was talking about because, you know, watching this video and Kim Kardashian, it's crazy because I, was, I wasn't even going to bring this up, but like, I got mad comments. I actually saw this video. I know, right, I'm, so I'm, Kim I'm Kardashian was basically saying, there's nothing wrong with what she was saying. She mm-hmm. was saying like, uh, <clears throat> she want, her next relationship, she want to have more time, basically, like with her man. Like she want to have more time 
and more intimacy. And I'm thinking like, I just didn't agree with that because it's like, bro, you should come to the relationship happy on your own. And although there's nothing wrong with what she's saying, right? Me as a man, I'm looking at it like, yo, I'm on the road. I'm working so much so I can make my family happy just for it to not make my family happy. Just for it to say, I, I, I want to appreciate the small things. There's nothing wrong with appreciating the small things. There's nothing wrong with that at all. There's nothing wrong with wanting to go out for walks in the parks, hold hands and things like that. But it's like, yo, I don't even want to be in this space. That's why I had this conversation because it's like, yo, it's, it's crazy because it comes full circle. It's like, yo, I don't even want to be working 24 seven. But that's what I gotta do, cause that's that's what's gonna that's what's gonna set my family up to be okay and bring my up my family's family to be okay, right? But then I gotta worry about making my family happy. We talked about this before, like mm-hmm. my kids happy, spending time with my kids, my wife happy, spending time with my wife. She wants the little things. She wanna just be able to sit down and talk and have walks in the park and have little conversations. But it's like, yo, it's so much on my plate. That's why I ask you guys, like, what makes you happy? Because I feel like if we came. And we talking about relationships or whatever, we came in the relationship already happy, that would eliminate the expectations that we have for somebody else to make us happy. Okay, so uh, I have a question. Is there a number for you um, financially in your mind? And if you do, you don't have to tell us a number if, you, if, if, it's, if it's sensitive for you. But is there a number that you, you would reach for you to go, cool, now I can spend 24 hours a day with my wife and <laughs> it is a number and it's a hundred million it's, it's, i mean that's a real, real is that question, a real Jay. is that real though like are you just saying it because it's some cool shit i don't know i just for some I, I, so it's weird bro i have no idea why but, this number but this number been in my head for some time now a hundred million because i i've i've very I, out of all of the very successful people that i've read about and that i know about maybe one percent of them uh when they reach that number that they say they have actually go all right i'm cool now i'm gonna spend time with the family i'm gonna retire and, and half of those that actually do do it, they end up going back to work because their passion, what they realize is that their passion is not to make the money. Their passion is the, the thrill of the hunt. They love hunting and killing. Like, I, I, you this are is my a hunting thing, killer. Like, I understand what y'all are saying, but just to speak on that situation, like, alone, they are two very rich people. And right. I don't believe that if... It's no way if I was... It, it's no way if I was... Uh, worried about my wife's happiness, I couldn't make it happy with all the money they had me in between. I think it comes down to effort and mind state or what you're worried about. I think yay mind state is just in a different space than where Kim wants to be. Kim's place where she is now is because of all these years of having yay like this. And that's what I... But so her now, that's what we talked about, the five-year relationship block, it seems like it is. Like after five years, you... Seems like you either love somebody and you want to be in the rest of your life, or you hate them and you want to move on. But in that five years, you developed a whole new person. Mm-hmm. They did, and you did. You developed in those five years. So five years ago, she was okay with being busy as shit and him doing everything because she was busy as shit doing everything. And then she had little moments where she had these intimacies and moments. And then throughout of it, she started longing for those moments more often because all they knew was the business. Their relationship and family was built off of business name. It was a business relationship, the marriage business. They had four kids. Like, it was love there, but Ye never changed to wanting to be closer. Like, look at D-Wade and Gabrielle Union. Their bond got a little bit closer after he retired, you feel me, because they started being around each other more, they started liking each other more, and their relationship, they, they, they with each other every day now. And He used to be a basketball star who he didn't really see it every day. So it's like, this way Ye is, that's not where Kim is, and Kim wants a more intimate relationship but with somebody who wants to fair, be Is that fair? But that's what I'm saying. That's why I said we came into a relationship already happy with ourselves, we would eliminate the expectations that we want from somebody else because think about it. I don't, like you said, D-Wade retired so he can spend more time with his family. Yay, from my perspective, I don't know the nigga personally, right. but he's always been an innovator and always wanted more. I remember at a time when he was had an interview on a breakfast club and he's like, man, I want to be a billionaire. And Shell, I mean, God, look, this man did in his face and said, you got rich people problems. He's like, nah, you just don't understand it. Mm-hmm. And now look, he's a billionaire. So it's like, bro, if you came into the relationship happy, who you are, you wouldn't have the burden. You wouldn't have to put the burden on me of your expectations of what you want. Expectations just, of what though, Jeff? But like, I don't want him to be intimate and being around your partner. But more it's often. not. It's, it's not that because like I feel like it's nothing wrong with that. Let's not get it fucked. I'm not saying there's nothing wrong with that. It's just if you know somebody is who they are, right? Like, why would you expect them to be somebody else, somebody differently? So if, if I may, all right. Um, Kim Kardashian says, "I want someone 
that uh, she can she can show she can know that she has something in common with number one. Mm-hmm. She wants someone to work out with with her, and she wants someone that she can share the little things with. Pretty much, she wants somebody that she can spend more physical time with. So at, you got to remember when they both met, they mm-hmm. were at completely different stages in their life, and mm-hmm. Kanye was thinking differently. So there was a point where he just evolved as a person and decided to become like he. There was a point where he was an artist. Mm-hmm. And he enjoyed being an artist. And that was it. That's when they met, too. When they met. Right. Correct. And they built a friendship around that. But then after they got married, I think he might have just hit a different gear in his life and was just, yo, I, mean, I want to be a billionaire. Randomly. Like, I, like you said, like, I want to build. <laughs> like, I think the Yeezys might have put it all in perspective for him. Like, shit, I could really do this shit. Mm-hmm. So let me start shifting. She's thinking, I'm getting older. I want to pull back. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? He's thinking, shit, I'm getting older. I got three kids. I need to gear up which is the natural inclination for a man. So like the only thing she's saying right now is like, yo, after com- coming out of dealing with somebody like that, I want something that's more simplistic. I mm. want somewhere it's not. Because like you said, she's got the money. It's not about money no more. It's not about time either because he's he, they can spend a month together and it'd be, it's, it's about the main thing she said that was important was I want something I have. I have someone I have more co- in common with. Right. Like that's important. Like. You talking and being cool with somebody or you being with your girl and shit, the relationship going to last longer if y'all having more conversations and learning throughout mm-hmm. it all. And what's the art of conversation? Having something in common mm-hmm. that you can genuinely have a conversation about. Mm-hmm. And I think they both got to a time where everything they learned about each other was literally the peak. And it's like, you look around, it's like, you look. let's look at Kanye West and Kim Kardashian. They are two entirely different people. Mm-hmm. It was a fun idea, but maybe Kim is, and Kanye both are feeling like, okay, after all the 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 idea is gone, what's left at the ground? Yeah, to me, I, I I feel like maybe we all might have uh, amnesia. But the moment that they announced that Kim and Kanye was together, we all said, "No, nigga, this right. is not going to work." Right. You know what I mean? And I, I feel like number one, he was lost when his mother died. Mm-hmm. He was in a tailspin for years. She really stabilized him in a certain way. But then when we start learning about the mental illness, when we start learning him, like him not, he's got medicines and medications he's supposed to take. He's not taking, taking care of him. He's not going to therapy. Yo, this guy is, when you're talking about a woman that is bearing a man's children and him being in the space that he's in, whether or not he's able to accomplish billionaire shit or not, like, dog, that's a crazy lifestyle to live with somebody. At some point, women want a man to provide stability. He is not a stable person. I'm not saying that he's a bad person. Mm -hmm. I'm saying he's not stable. So what she needs, that stability, that I need that comfort level, she's begging him for something that he can't provide. Shit, he can't even provide that shit for himself. I I just feel like when it comes to this conversation, like, and the reason I think I got so triggered from it, because I feel like women in general, they require so much from a man to be happy Mm -hmm. when it comes to, me, for instance, like, and, 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 and hear from you, I don't think our, our happiness comes from, like, it's not a requirement in a woman. And I just feel like that's the part that's, like, not fair. And I, was, and I think I sent y'all to get the, um, the monogamous part or whatever, mm-hmm. right? But it's like, I just feel like when it comes to being happy as a man, the woman, what you do doesn't make, make me happy, mm-hmm. if anything, honestly. And honestly, to be honest, what I can do for you is partially what makes me happy. Because I feel like it's already this, uh, this idea of me supposed to take care of you and things like that, right? Mm-hmm. Because it's like now when I can't take care of my family, I'm not happy. That's why I'm chasing my dreams so hard, mm-hmm. right? But I feel like as a woman, it's like it, it, we it, they require so much from the man to be happy. And it's like, I, I just don't agree with that. I feel like it's not that there's a genuine need. I feel like there's a societal kind of teaching that we should, that women should expect this and that from men. Like this list of things like, cause when you come down to the come down of a woman is, I feel like if any person is raised properly, they know to make themselves happy to depend on themselves, you know, accomplish things for themselves. Like, you know what I mean? Like, but that's not, uh, but that's going just on not in the way in world. society. Yeah. That's just not the way uh, our young women have been raised, bro. Like, that's just what it is. They, they have been taught that if a guy come, he need to have a bag. He got to take care of you. He got to da 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 da. And I'm like, yeah, to a certain extent that should be. If you love each other, you should always take care of each other, period. Mm. You know what I mean? However, we should have equal expectations. I feel like it's a new paradigm because now these conversations are being had. So now 
women are redefining what they want, redefining who they are mm. so that there can be more of a balance made. And I feel like it's very important that you even brought this to the table, bro. Like, it's, it's, I feel like one thing men aren't, aren't doing is saying, yo, y'all are doing too much as a collective mm -hmm. of saying, if you want to be equals, then let's define what equal is. I'm talking about women being equal to men. If we're going to be equal, then look like? why am I paying for every meal? I mean, let's be real. If we equals, why am I providing all of this? Why is now my expectation? If we equals, why do Man, I have to provide the but, house and the cars and all of this? And you get to kick it. I got to buy you Birkin bags. Right. There's a whole lot of investment going on for what? But, Vagina that I can so, go buy and pay no, for? I don't think I don't think a real woman you're going to deal with going to handle, you gonna handle issues. With. I think it's, it's just a surface women right now. I think Instagram definitely has these ideas in these women's head, but... A real bitch gonna hold you down. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but a real bitch gonna make say, sure you don't pay for every man. But but honestly, I ain't never been with a girl who who really yeah, wanted to pay for every man. Yeah, yeah. Right. Like, but what like, I will nigga, say is though, paying for meals. But, but I ain't gonna lie. I think I said this before, bro. And I mean this, bro. Like equality ain't ain't about the meals that I pay for, right? Mm -mm. Honestly, like equality is 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 about that that scale, mm -hmm. that seesaw. Because if I'm paying for all the meals and you washing my clothes and you nurturing. I ain't gonna lie, like that's good enough for me. I'm gonna keep it hundred. Like I, if you, I agree. If you making sure I'm I'm fed, bro, that's different. I you natural boy. So I think she, I think she, I they, she trapped me in that because like she she came in. Well, she understood that. <laughs> she understood the assignment. <laughs> she did I think she, any she smart she girl, like because she, she that, came in and my friends was like, my bad. My friends was like yo, like nigga, Jay got food in his fridge. <laughs> like I was eating all the time. You feel me? So like I'm good with that, and that's equality for me. Mm. I just feel like a lot of other. I I feel like. A lot of women nowadays is like, yo, what can you do for me to make me happy without mm -hmm. giving or and, and not even giving, right? If I'm going to make you happy, right? It's okay. But what can you sacrifice to be happy? Mm -hmm. And that's where I was going with the with the with the Kim Kardashian thing cuz it's like, yo, bro, we can't ignore that this man elevated you to a different type of person. I don't think you would be here if it wasn't for him. But it's like you talking about the small things, to be honest, you talking about the small things. What about the things that this man sacrificed out of his life uh, to create you, honestly. Come on, we, we can't sit up here and yo, act like- Kim whoa. Kardashian was she worth a good to 60 own, to 100 like, mil before they got yeah. married. So you're telling me that she Kim was, Kardashian would be the Kim Kardashian she, she is today without Kanye West? Would the Kanye, yes, just, would yes, Kanye, yeah. would Kanye be the Kanye West she is today without Kim Kardashian? I think Talk maybe- Talk about That's it, the stars. question. I, I, Talk about I don't it, know. I think, I think he would. Come on, bro. I think what's more poisonous this conversation is understanding that a man may have got lost trying to please. All this time she talking about this to us, She's saying this out loud to people that she genuinely wants a different type of man than what she was married to. So how many conversations with him you think she had with this nigga? I'm not saying that, bro, but I just feel like a lot of times we we ignore we Panda ignore game. the things that we just ignore so much shit because we want to magnify the shit that we don't have. How about we, we be grateful for the shit that we do have? Like, yo, I'm not saying there's nothing wrong with wanting fucking quality time. I'm going to keep saying that. That's not what I'm saying. All I'm saying is a lot of times in relationships, we ignore our grass to go water some other grass when we can just water our grass and take care of our own shit. That's all I'm saying. So you can say all the shit she want about her saying, yo, I'm saying this out loud and I could have had a thousand conversations with Kanye West, but my nigga, why don't you appreciate what you did have? Honestly, that's what I'm saying. But I feel like them being on, on you know, for what we know, you know, at least decent terms shows it's a respect there. Yeah, 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 no, for sure. Yeah, I, I feel I like that, but I'm not me. going to sit here and ignore the fact that Kim Kardashian, well, like you said, 160 million followers before Ye even married her, didn't help Ye out. No. I ain't say she didn't help him out. I mean, I think Kanye is who he is, and as I big as he that. is, I as think worldwide I don't as think he so. is, I don't because think so. of this unique idea that a Kardashian is the top famous Bro, person Bro, Kardashian fuck with so many other niggas before and it ain't no, do shit. No, 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 You have to understand something. The Kardashian brand is a top five brand. Bro, she didn't fuck with other celebrity. niggas before and it ain't give them top five shit. But she ain't fuck with a nigga on the, 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 on the level of Kanye That's what West. I'm saying. So Kanye West did that. No, that's like LeBron going over to D-Wade. D-Wade was D-Wade. But when LeBron came over there, Niggas started winning rings. Okay. And when the rings off with Kim Kardashian and Kanye West, them fucking bees, nigga. Billions. He would not be a billionaire right now. I don't I, will, the I, brand just, I just of Kim Kardashian. I don't Attached think so. Him. So wait. So the Nike deal. They were wearing Yeezys every fuck. Kim well, Kardashian was walking around with fucking light brown fucking sweatsuits on and fucking camel. Any any so any design is, Yeezy that he was so trying maybe, out. Maybe maybe he had on. Mm -hmm. So what I'm saying is, do you know how much a Kyle Jenner? Fucking 
post is, it's just like $2 million. That's, and I, I know I be bullshitting numbers on God. It's like a million or $2 million for a post from Kylie Jenner. So with that kind of power and promotion behind it, regardless of what you think it is, do you not think Beyonce up Jay-Z? Are we not acting yeah, like yeah, yeah, Jay-Z yeah. would be who he is today without Beyonce? Jay-Z would be fucking Nas, which is a nigga that popped up every oh. once in a while with a verse on a song if he didn't have the brand of Beyonce I to just help him don't build know. I, buildings. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. This, I don't no, 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 no. I say this because I last I time talking we talked about shit. this, you really shined down on the idea that ambitious women can help become men become bigger. Wait, and I never said that. No, you didn't say that. You I said, never said no, that. No, I'm talking about, I'm not, I say shy down to the idea of uh, you. I said, I'm just not. I, you I don't, don't believe that you need a woman to be successful. I didn't say that. I said, but a woman could definitely help you be successful. I never said and, none and of more. that, though. I said, I said top five qualities. My top five is not going to be ambition because you can be so many other things to me. But and, she, no. OK, reword. You don't need an ambitious bitch. I didn't say that. I said in my top five. It wouldn't be ambition. I'm not saying because six, I can very much need top 10, but I'm saying top five ambition right, will right. be in it because nurturing is huge for me. Okay, you know what I'm cool. saying? Like being able to listen is no, huge no, for me. No, no, I get that. And that's why, but, but that's, that's so all that, go back. that outweighs that's your type, ambition. That's right, what I'm saying. Right. I, I may have worded that wrong and I apologize, but I will say is the layout of how Kanye West and, and, and Kim Kardashian and Jay-Z and, and, Beyonce. and Beyonce and D-Wade and Gary Bellion, that two brands becoming one to become more isn't something I agree that with you- that. I agree with that. Really give a fuck. No, I agree anyone. with that. I agree with two brands becoming one. Yes. Well, what I'm saying is, I think maybe because I'm a Kanye West fan. All I'm saying is, I think, I'm, a, I'm a Kanye West fan too. I but think I also Kanye realist, West, and I feel like I watched Kanye West become the best person he is because he was, he was promoted him. by the biggest promotion engine in the fucking United that's States. That's not fair to say. That's like saying that's <laughs> celebrity just, wise. There's no just, bigger platform you can be, be on. But bro, his his business, the business of Kanye expanded while he was married. Come on, bro. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, he was yeah. walking around in fucking you know pastels. I mean? Even if fucking... it's nothing more than being around a bunch Shut of business people, because come on, bro, you're influenced by the people you're around. That's true. That's so fact. if he was around a bunch of creators before, but then he goes into a house of a bunch of business people, you're gonna naturally pick up that's and true. play off and bounce off and get ideas and do shit. I'm you just, just naturally you, influenced by. It. I, I just I'm I'm proud of them both. I feel fact. like they both have become billionaires that's and they fact. need to thank each other. No, and fact. they and they can they can be friends. They can be great parents and they can grow apart and 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 and, and fuck whoever they want to and be happy with whoever they want to. Just like her sister did. Look at fucking Courtney. She fucking moved on. Her and her husband. They both rich as fuck apart. They come around like you know what I mean they don't. They still cool as shit. It's it's ways going. It's grown up ways going about. Me and my first big mother cool. You feel me? It's ways to be cool and just appreciate the moments y'all had, whether mm. it was good or bad. That's and that's fact. being grown up. Now, I'm not going to say Kanye West is not a superstar, but goddamn, Marion, one of the baddest bitches in the world, might help. And that's a, and that's and that's something that's that a might choice. be true. All, all I'm saying, all in all, is just I think if we if we came into and came into situations already happy, we wouldn't have these expectations on other people, right? That's all I'm saying. That's, a fact. that's it. But what I will, I'm, I'm gonna throw this in as an off key and answer me this honestly. Do you feel like the woman on your arm amplifies or changes your perception in public? In public? Yep. Mm. How people look at you, how businesses yeah, look of at course, you. Yeah, like, yeah. yeah, I feel like because it, you, can't, you can't even be the president of the United States if you're not married. I mean, you can be, but can? It, 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 doesn't, it doesn't help you. It doesn't help you enough. Because you, you have to look more all-American. You have to look more relatable and married men are... I thought you had perception. To be. <laughs> no, no, no. You don't oh, have to be married. No, 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 no. You could be single. Okay. So, you know there, so there's no first lady if you're not married. It just don't got one. Yeah, you just don't have a first lady. Not, so has it been, been a president come, ever? That so the nigga sister married? don't come up and be the first lady. How do it work? Um, has it ever been a Lincoln, president? Lincoln wasn't married. Okay. Um, it's way back, way back type shit. Okay. No, say Lincoln like, had no wooden nigga. teeth. That's a long ass time ago. <laughs> yeah, that's a fact. So, um, <laughs> but the reason why I'm saying that is when you add in any successful man and you put a powerful woman such as Kim. It, it, so it amplifies. What it, I will it makes say a is, difference. and there's no shots in. And the same thing with you. Let's nah, be nah, real. No, nah, I'm about to say, like, mm -hmm. don't get it fucked up. I'm not gonna put this past the woman that I'm with. You for me? At the end of the day, yeah, the person that you with definitely amplifies you. But I believe in myself so much that no matter who I'm with, where I'm at, I'm gonna be me. Mm -hmm. And I say that with all due respect. Mm -hmm. You feel me? So like, that's why I think is like I have that much confidence in myself mm -hmm. to know that yo, I'm gonna make it regardless. And and that's not and and that's why I say. Ambition from a woman can be maybe six or seven because at the end of the day, with my own ambition and, and, and respectfully so, thank you guys for y'all coming because y'all said like I'm an inspirational guy, right? Because I, I clearly have something in myself when it comes to that drive portion mm -hmm. that a lot of people don't have. And, and, I'm, not, and I'm not being cocky or nothing like nope. that. What I'm saying is to say like, bro, no matter who's here, mm -hmm. I'm going to go get it. 
Mm. You know what I'm saying? Mm. And if you don't want to go get it, just help me along the way. Mm -hmm. You feel me? And I'm going to make sure you good. That's all I'm trying to say. No. I ain't saying that the girl don't help, help you because I, I ain't no fucking dummy. No, that, that's a like, I ain't no dummy. Like, like, my, we know. my preference would be the Jay-Z, uh, Beyonce dynamic of having two things come to one and okay. become. It's, and sense. also because I'm a family guy at the end of the day, I definitely let a whole family aspect. So if you can get money with me, then you won't be on my back as much because we actually are doing things together. See me, mm -hmm. if you understand my sh my grind and my struggle, understand and you believe in it and you trust in my vision, then you ain't gonna be on my back because you know that I got. Well, what's wrong with her being a part of your vision? Nothing. So you ain't got no, 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 nothing. You yeah, said yeah. that was your. Oh your, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know I'm saying that's but mine. Saying, yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes sense. Yeah, that's but not I, right? No, I, I love your way of looking at because even you saying that today where you was like, um, she got fruit in the fridge. You know what I mean? That's like, a major part of these success. are major parts to, to, like, to fuel you to do more. Mm -hmm. My nigga, and she okay with being that person who me? fuels you, making sure I eat. I remember like she used to hit me like, "Yo, you ate today?" Like when we wasn't even like, bro, like all that shit is right. super important because. It's probably days where I'm going to go and not go eat. You know what I'm right. saying? Like, so can we... Can y'all drink this, real quick, this, though? Because I'm drinking by myself. This conversation is getting disgusting. I, I don't like y'all drinking. He says this conversation yeah, is getting disgusting. Yeah, this is getting disgusting. It's too much panda bearing. It's too much lovey dovey. how much we love women. Let's get a little toxic going today right now. Like, you know what I mean? Before the cameras went on... I like this conversation, on, man. I know, I know, I know, I know. Because you know, it helps your numbers and you the girls love y'all. You know, the DMs popping. We get it. So like, yo, before the cameras went on, I was asking the guys before the superstars came, us regular dudes. I was having a regular guy conversation. Normal people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you like your girls to be reserved and quiet, or you like your spice? You know what I'm saying? Do you do you need your girl to be spicy, or do you need your girl to be you know quiet, reserved? You Go know ahead. what this remind me of? Go ahead. It was a, like a little clip floating around where a guy got put off some type of TV show because mm -hmm. he was like too timid or some shit like mm -hmm. that. So like now it's funny that you asked that question because it's kind of like the opposite, right? Mm -hmm. But I think I would love to have my girl. Um, Damn, it's so much. Be honest, bro. One. Be honest. So now I'm about to say, because I, I would love my girl to be quiet and reserved, but like Star's point, the quiet and reserved ones, that comes with not wanting to go out all the time. Mm. Not wanting to be more, more social with not your friends. Not wanting to dress up. Not wanting to be social with your friends. You get what I'm saying? So it's like, ah, homebody is. But for real, for, have you ever dated somebody that was reserved and quiet? Nah. And that's not even what you really want. Then. But I think you maybe, like spice. I don't lie. You love a presentable woman. You would like her to be quiet and to herself, but you always want her to be ready in case the light's on. You also want her to be able to be cool enough with the friends to be able to smoke if need be. Also be able to take her heels off and bust a nigga in the head if you need You know what I want? Spice. That's spice. all spice. You know what I want? <laughs> too damn much. Honestly, it's too much to ask for somebody. <laughs> I'm going to just be real. Let me be real. I'm, a, look, I'm Jay and I want too damn much. I'm yeah, sorry. Yeah, yeah, no, no. I'm, <laughs> star, I'm stars and I definitely want everything and everything that comes with it. But I, I like spice. I feel like I want... I don't know. I just want to know. I feel real assurance is, is people showing actions. I feel like actions go through. Let me clarify. I'm okay. not saying that the young lady won't show you that she loves you, that she won't communicate with you, but she's not like, you know how your girl will come home and she'll be irritated about something you did. Like maybe you didn't set, make the bed up or you didn't put the toilet seat down. Okay. You know what I mean? Uh, the, the, the reserve young lady would just be like, babe, um, you, you, you didn't put the toilet seat down. Or she just suck it up and wouldn't say nothing and let you keep Having his toilet seat up. And then, like, she might just jump out but, of a window. But when you but say, shorty with Spice, as soon as she see, she get up out the bed. You see her get out of the bed. As soon as she peek around that corner and she look right at you like, nigga. Like, you I know what I'm saying? Rather, I, would, I would like a, a reserve chick in that matter because, like, bro, again, man, like, I want you to be reserved enough to just understand that, like, God damn, I'm going to have some flaws and I want to jump down my fucking throat every time. It's like, bro, like, again, like I said, bro, I feel like if you have somebody that's like that, and this might be... Contrary belief, I just feel like if you have somebody that's like that, if you a good person, mm -hmm. you ain't about to just be zapping on this chick. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Like it's, it's gonna come to a point where you're arguing and you're gonna see that she's calm. And bro, like, come on, man. If you got some type of goodness in your heart, you're gonna lower it down. Now the chick that's gonna be yelling at you, all you're gonna do is react with the yelling. You get what I'm saying? That's what that's mm -hmm. how I feel. And I want somebody that's gonna the makeup sex be real. Nah, the same fuck that way. makeup sex. No, like, you I don't want makeup sex. Me down I want somebody I'm already listen, yeah. Like I'm already out of here. A girl that has both and i'm gonna say this <laughs> too mm. much <laughs> no 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 come in she see she wake up baby put a car seal come on now you know oh, my, my baby second time babe oh shit, my baby you know all right third time all right nigga i almost fell in this time <laughs> and then that fourth time she's like Hey man, I don't know what the fuck you think this is in here, but I ain't about to take no swims in the morning because you just don't want to remember shit. I like that. I like that. No, I mean, I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that because it because it, it, and it, and, it, and it's like you know what I mean. But it's like I said, it's 
No, you don't want a whole bunch of one thing. You don't want a whole bunch of one thing. Right. You want you, certain scenarios. You want some mild match. buffalo sauce. Yeah, you mild know what buffalo saying? sauce. But yeah. I want somebody. I ain't, I ain't gonna lie. I think I want somebody to be able to straighten me the fuck up though, because I got mm. a lot of people who are already looking up to me and always yes men to me and always all this shit. I need somebody to be like, hey yo, no, nah, that's not what's about to go down. See, and I, and I feel like that's okay because you need somebody who can be like, whether it's your girl or your homeboy. You feel me? You just want. I want my girl to be a realist, and I don't want her to be no yes man. I feel mm. like a lot of the submissive women. I'm like, yeah, I like it. It's great. Oh, yeah, it's great. See, no, I, give me some opinion. I ain't gonna lie to you. Nah, bro. You I, like, yes I got a lot of... See, maybe, like it, maybe it's a fraternity thing. I got a lot of niggas around me that's gonna put me in my place. I'm gonna be real. Like, I got a lot of niggas that's gonna tell me straight up. Ain't nobody really telling me yes just because... Well, matter of fact, I'm gonna keep it 100. It's... <laughs> A lot of my line brothers be telling me no when I want them to tell me yes. So like, it's already a headache. I'll be like, I got this idea. And they be like, what the fuck you talking about? Like, I'm tired of that. You feel me? So to be honest, I you do. You want to come home? I, and... I want to come home. And it's like, bro, like I got a woman that's going to be reserved a little bit. Not reserved, but like, you know, like gentle. Like, just like, like mm. girls want a nigga that's what gentle. What does gentle have to do with her making sure she keep making sure you on your shit? Bro, it's not, but it's a way to make sure I'm on my shit. You don't have to jump down my throat to make sure I'm on my Who shit. Who said jumping down your throat? Bro, you just, listen, you said you want a chick with some spice, By the right? full time of me doing something and be like, all right, nigga, now straighten up. You know, you ain't, but like, regardless of what time, it is. The fourth time, when you say, do you want somebody that's reserved and quiet or do you want somebody, what's the other exact word? She wants you to be, I mean, reserved oh, and quiet or spicy. Or, or spicy. Yeah. I feel like when I hear spicy, I hear firecracker. All I hear. Time. Fucking kaboom! I hear like like nah, I don't want that. I'm no, gonna be I, honest. I, I, no, I don't want. I, when I say kaboom, I mean she's on your ass, not she's she's on my ass. I don't want nobody going on my crazy. ass. Like I'm like no, don't be on my ass. Like not on your ass, but making sure you. Uh, but you can make. Sure. It's a conversation that she can bring up to you that make you realize. All right, maybe this is something I need to. Look I want that. Yes. Yes, you want that. This but I don't know. want you to come at me. Nah. How I don't many want times that? were you with your nah. frat brothers? Uh, two weeks ago. You said how many times? Two weeks ago. That week of two weeks ago. Mm -hmm. I know you just was with a lot of people. Yeah. How often were you right. with your Fred brothers? Uh, yeah, I, I think I was with them quite a good, good amount of time. So maybe. Are you with your Fred brothers or anybody who's consistent, like one person? You see me once a week, about maybe twice if we mm -hmm. kick it, right? But somebody else, you seeing somebody more than twice to three times a week consistently? That's your Fred brother? Nah, I get what you're trying to say. Your girl you see every day. Yeah. Your girl knows mostly the most shit about you. Right. Your flaws, your ups, your downs, the things you need to improve. Mm -hmm. Why don't you want her to be somebody who can at least put that fire underneath you to make sure, all right, cool, I need to straighten up when she's a person that knows you the best. Mm. I don't think I'm saying Is that. it a thing now, that you... And, and me, no, I'm not saying that. I'm I don't saying mind. You I always bring up your frat brothers what? being somebody that you look to for anything. No, only because... For wait, wait, no, no, no. For, for, wait, wait. For, no, no, no. What you're not going to do, Stars, because what you said no. was... Hold Listen. up. What you said was, you literally said, I'm around so many people who I got a, a lot of yes men around me. Yes. You said that. So why can't I say who around me? You, so if you want to say, I can't do that, you can't do that. I'm no, literally just responding to you what you said. Right. I'm not even, I, I don't want, I'm not trying to put you in a bad like. I'm just trying it to ain't bad. Like, we no, just no, 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 no. I'm just having a conversation to make <laughs> you realize that maybe your outlook on where you can take criticism could be from a woman that you respect her perspective. Mm. Hit me out, bro. I'm and not saying you gotta I can't take, take if she's if she's reserved. The bedroom it is reserved too. Woman you got. Uh, I'm just adding listen, on to that. I, but wait, it's not a whole lot of. I, Oi, Big Daddy! But why can't oh, you know, wait, give wait, me wait, the big dick. Wait, you why, know what I'm saying? It's none of that. Why, it's why, can't, quiet. why can't a reserved chick be a chick that's gonna put me in my place? Why can't a, a reserved chick? She be will the, put you in your right, place. That's what I'm saying. Why can't a, a reserved chick be the one that's gonna hold me? But she don't let a lot of shit go. And a lot of times when it do pop off, it pop off. Like it be some. Will you? That's or she'll question. just leave. She'll like the way she'll check your ass. You'll come home and you're like, "Babe, why your shit gone?" Like in that case, no, I don't want that. You know what I'm <laughs> saying? And you gotta go it. back to her, and you gotta like for real, for real. Because I've dated super reserved chicks. They the way they deal with stuff is silently. No, I they just leave, that. or they reserve. don't want to talk. When I'm thinking of reserve, like when I'm thinking reserve, when I'm thinking of reserve, right? I'm thinking, I'm thinking, yeah, no, I'm thinking of like the opposite of firecracker, or like you know, like if I come home with the seat down, like you said, I think that was very reserved. If you come to me. If you come to me three times and I don't do it the fourth time, yeah, you deserve to, to say some shit louder. You know what yeah. I'm saying? I ain't mad at that. If like, if I'm just saying, if I come in the house and I don't know, you had a bad day, I had a bad day, you just snap like, yeah, I'm like, whoa. That's not going to work. Oh, because I'm a firecracker my damn self. So of course I want some yin to my yang. I'm just saying like, bro, like I'm already a firecracker. Because if you come at me yelling, I'm going to fuck around and yell at you back. 
Like, you feel me? Like, I know that old school man thing. I'm trying to get into that, to be honest. You know, like, when niggas like, happy wife, happy life, like, just shut up and, like, don't say nothing. Like, I just respect. I'm trying to get there, like, because nah, all got, my old heads be telling me, like, bro, you just got to learn gonna, how to. We're going to discuss no, this listen, today. All my old that's heads, some bullshit. Nah, all, well, all my old heads, they, man, they be like, you got to learn how to say okay and still do what the fuck you going to do. That's all my, all my old heads told me the same thing. And I'm trying for. for I don't the, think so. I'm I trying for like, the God's sake of me to get there because it's like, yo, I wish I could just be like, okay, baby, you got it. The most and then like, walk out and yeah. then do my thing. Because to me, you be like, nah, because what the fuck I'm telling you is, it ain't going. Like, you need somebody <laughs> to understand you, to, to, to understand you, and to give you a rebuttal that you respect for you to really get into a point of you just digesting things differently when it comes to women. Like, what you're spinning, you don't want to, you think it's the opposite reserve. No, you want a woman who has her own mind, who give you a little bit of. Your manly space, but also will put you in your place if need be. I want that. You feel me? I want somebody who can, you know, like, man, what you, what you, what you ain't doing a party? Why you ain't doing a party today? Yeah. What you mean? What you need? What you mean? The camera lens. What time the best about open? Woo! One of them. You, you marry know what that. I'm Jay Hill would marry that shit. Let me tell you that right now. Because she want to make sure you on your shit. Right. And then, and then, and then that same conversation of doing that, she's telling you, what the fuck you mean? You just did this, you did that. Why would you skip a week? They, everybody's looking for you. What you gonna, what you gonna post it? Like, and then you gotta look at her and be like, you know what, you're right. That aspect is through conversation and understanding of the partner you with. That's all I'm saying. Like, I mean, I ain't gonna lie, that's and perfect. And your though. partner wanting and the par actively knowing that she needs to do things to make sure you good. I ain't gonna lie though, that's that's perfect. Partner. But you're doing that for her too. I don't think, I don't, I don't think that shit exists because, like, to be honest, Chada is like that. I'm gonna be keeping it on it. Mm -hmm. But she get a little crazy too. Yeah. Not a little. Man, what you thought? Every apple in the basket was gonna be a, a fresh apple? <laughs> but she definitely be like, she be on that shit too. Though. Like that's why that's what attracted me to her, to be honest. Like she definitely is that. Because we have so much on our shoulders as again, creators and entrepreneurs, man, just to be supported is just an amazing thing. But you know, a lot of times, like we don't like I give out a lot. Your girl gonna give out a lot, and you know you don't want her to give so. Yeah, much. I just like yo, give me a break, like please. Yeah. Time out, like oh, time out. I promise, I ain't mean. But that's why I think it's important to have conversations. That's a fact. Like, yeah. I wish I could stop yeah. and meet in like in mid before the argument start and just be like, yo, all right, look, I wish I could like put it in her brain that look, I don't want no tr trouble. So like whatever I'm saying is not to come out like that. Like I, I don't mean it like that. Just so you got understand. Unfortunately, unfortunately, that's not. Like, that's not but real. you know what's crazy though. I know the moment I fuck up. The Rags. moment I fuck you know up. And I'm like, damn, I just fucking crossed it's that crazy. line and the argument is going but to But you know happen. what's crazy, bro? Damn, why am I so understanding? It's the same both ways. Because a lot of their lash outs be cries for like help. Or cries for attention. Yes. Or a cry, you feel me? It's just, it's just a cry for like, like, this is all I'm really saying. Like, you saying this, but this is all I mean. And right? that's why I think <laughs> conversation is important. Because you, cause she yelling at you, you be like, I know. Babe, you just want me to put a tall seat down. Right. Right, come okay, in, come in, bad. come in. I know you all up, it. Come in. Oh, you just want some dick. You just want some dick. You just want some. Lay dick. down, How man. You work this in for the fourth week okay. in a row. Like you yeah. just want, you just Ass want me to tips. put this dick on Ass you. Tips. Okay, I'll put the dick on you, but I'm sorry. That's all. I mean, it's his approach, and that might work for for his lady, but it's really true. <laughs> you know what I mean? Sometimes you just whip that thing out, and they just come on. You know what I mean, they forget about everything. <laughs> so you were Jody that pussy. So sorry, baby. <laughs> <laughs> the licking that pussy, you forget about you everything. A, you Next thing you know, you done bust a nut, you done went to sleep for 15 minutes, you wake up, she got a plate of breakfast in front of you and shit. I ain't gonna lie, I, nah, my yo, damn nerves. I ain't gonna lie, it's something about toxic sex that's different, bro. Listen what? to what I'm telling you. That's why I say dating the ones with the spice, yo, listen, my nigga. Cause you put that tongue, listen, you put that tongue on them, and like, it's like a hip, hypnotation. It's like, you forget everything that happened. It's like, yeah, new life. New life, who this? Just pull out, fellas, man. A lot of kids out here. That's Toxic sex is pregnancy sex. It is, bro. Do you know any nigga who the, <laughs> any baby that's running around here right now? That session was nasty. bro. You can go five years. That session was nasty. You can you can go five years trying to have a kid, right? In the last thirty days that she was upset and, and, and angry. Why and is that always a key? And now you pray like what? The I mean, fuck? when you get pregnant, you got pregnant right when you broke up with him. The fuck you got a pregnancy button, bitch? How the fuck, <laughs> how the fuck you pregnant right when I break up with you? How the fuck did that Now happen? I got to come back and I said all that wild ass shit to you and be nice to you. Because you're pregnant. <laughs> At least until she not, I'm not pregnant anymore. No, no, you're pregnant. Shit. So what you about to do? That went over your head. I'm, no, 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 I'm trying to get <laughs> over my head. I'm not touching Listen, that shit. No, 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 no. He like, man, I got a bullshit going on right now. I'm trying to uh, do <laughs> You got one going on right now? Moving on, man. Woo! Pull out oh, game God. trash. Oh, fuck y'all niggas, man. Shit. That's why he came. Hey. Oh, that's the hey. story. That's what's going hey. on. That's the story of the show. Hey. Your mind going crazy. Hey.
Hey. Your mind going crazy. Hey. Hey, That's the yeah, story hey, of this shirt. Hey, when Chris Shark Trey came back and hey, he was like, yo, subject. hey fellas, I want to go back to last week because this week I fucked. <laughs> hey fellas, yo, stop. How did y'all like the Migos album? I Ooh, love that shit. That's a good conversation. I love that shit, bro. I love that I mean, shit. from the first rap, you press play, nigga, they got four they bars in the beat and went in. Yeah. Like, I love it when but niggas don't waste no time. How feel about it, though? Is that it was every, it, it, I wanted it to be this way. Mm -hmm. I was hoping that it would have impact and I feel like the way they approached it. But Polo G it. album, The crazy. production is crazy. Yo, I really feel like they stopped they, they lyrics. I'm not, I never felt like Migos had lyrics, but this shit, no, they got some so balls. The, me, some of the flips and the balls, I was like. It was, it was special for me because I didn't have any expectations because I just haven't been liking yeah. the Migos a full in album forever. I never, wow. I never like, bro, I haven't been like, I never really was a big fan of the Migos, bro. So when this happened, I'm like, wait, what the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> like, I'm like, oh. No, nah, I like this. Yeah. That shit. Crazy. The song they call Vaccine? Shit you know crazy. what it reminds me of, though? For me, for me, for me. And the bitch record. This might be crazy. a stretch. This yeah. might be a stretch for y'all. I ain't saying this album as good as that, but I was never a big Future fan, right? Mm -hmm. And then I listened to Dirty Sprite 2. Like, oh my God. Dirty Sprite fuck? 2 might have been one of the best CDs. Unspoke of. What, 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 what's up? A lot of people love Dirty Sprite. That's how I felt about this Migos Dirty album. I listened, to the, I listened to the album like, wait, what? How did y'all mm. even do this? Like, because mm. I've never been a fan of them like that. Word. So for it to make me, that's I'm. It, it was special. It was special. definitely. Yeah, like I'm. I, 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 I it's crazy because normally Drake is a high point for me on people features album. Oh, so. But to me, this wasn't it for me. But I'm not saying it was bad. But like everybody else features, I really felt like they Look went. God, they went to a whole mm. nother space on it joint. Man. God, know what the fuck be going on? You see, talking about, talking about her being God or God in general. <laughs> oh, Both boy. Of them. yo, because you see Both how we. <laughs> Oh! oh! Really, nigga? Make sure the camera on uh, JS1 the entire time. <laughs> Make sure the fucking mic work. First of all, that's why I want to- Yo, whoever's in their car why just crashed and shit. Geo, why is it on my chair? Right, you fix the, fix the cord, because that's going to look ugly on your camera. Oh my God. But nah, I was saying look at God, because we we so happen to be talking about rap now. <laughs> what? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's crazy. But great nah, transition. I definitely like Polo G album, too. I think Polo G had a great album. I think um, he's doing great. I think he's one of the top three new young boys out oh, right now. From Migos to uh, like a, a, a collection of an album? No, they album, they album just came hey, out. we gonna talk Both about Migos. Albums came out. I'm definitely talking about Lloyd Banks, bro. I don't give a fuck how y'all niggas oh feel. That God. Banks album. What am I, 19? I thought you was going to fuck with. Yo, first of all, you act like the nigga old. The nigga not even old. What is you talking about? I listen to, Lloyd I Banks genuinely listen to five Stop. songs. Who Stop. listen to five songs? What G oh, unit, nigga, G unit. Yeah, I, I, I forgot. Oh I just know 50 God, Cent. I just know 50 Cent. <laughs> All right. You said Lloyd Banks? Doing. Banks oh, got a project. Okay. Benny the Butcher on that motherfucker. Freddie Gibbs on that motherfucker. Okay. Like, it's so many ill niggas in the bars. It's crazy. Like, I'm sorry. Back to the uh, I'm a hip hop head. So go ahead. I, I like Polo G shit. I think, you know what I mean? So you I ain't fucking with Migos album? Yeah, I liked it. It was what I expected. And a little bit more, honestly. Really? You really thought the day was going to be? I, they I, been was, gone for a long I time. was nervous as hell that it was going to be the fall off time. Like, I thought this fall was going to be the fall off. I thought they fell off. They been fell no. off. I thought this was the, they climbed up. Because they, no, 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 they definitely took too long they, to come back. They killed they definitely them this too long album, to come back. but I wasn't expecting they much. They definitely took too long to come back. The straightening shit was hard. And I was like, I don't like that. You didn't like the my last. That's my least favorite song. Are you serious? That's my least favorite song, bro. That's my shit. No, it's straight, but straight. Like, what the fuck you talking about? That's a country line. You seen them explain what straightening was? Yeah, like straightening it, is just you know when you gotta get something straight, you just straighten them. Like he said, before you figure out what we gonna do next, we gotta get some straight, and we have to figure out what's going on between us. Like we need to settle our that. issues they ain't before we that. move forward. They, they ain't yeah, say that. on a complex interview they did. But go ahead. They ain't say it like that. Cause you well, just made obviously, way more sense. I made it sound more clear. Of they country as shit. What you want them to do, nigga? That's I wanted like, to tell me what they're saying. That's what I'm saying. Right? Tell me what they said because they said straighten, but something, something straight and straight and straight. I'm like, get straight but straight. They country, nigga. What you want? Three times. We in the club like this. Hey, to all my niggas in the south, I hear what you saying. I understand. Go kill them. Like, I ain't like, got nothing to do with that. Niggas stay in the South. Yo, kill them in the middle. What is straight? All my niggas, niggas in the South, nigga. All my niggas in the all South stay niggas, in the South. Because I got a lot of niggas in the South. Yo, y'all know I know what the fuck y'all talking about. I don't give a fuck about, about y'all, nigga. Yeah, man. I'm scared of y'all, nigga. So they shit. don't give a fuck about you. I do, my nigga. I love y'all. No, there's some niggas in the South. Hey, I'm about to be in the A in August, yo. I see y'all niggas in the A. Holla. Go ahead. Oh what do you think, bro? I'm saying I'm, I'm getting cool. I'm traveling. You know what I mean, traveling the world, he got, experiencing. He got, that's his. That's what. That's what make him happy. He got clothes in his trunk and shit. We tell him change clothes. He said, "Hold up, I'll be right back." Like you got money. How you got all the clothes in your mind? The nigga, yo, we say, yo, you got to change your shirt. He said, okay, why? cool. I got a shirt in the, I got, I got why, a shirt in the car. Why am I here? Like, yo, I feel like I'm just a target boy for these. Bro, bro if you would have wore that shirt during this pod, yo, I definitely would have. It would have been episode two again. 
I just say like, welcome back to episode two. We gonna repeat an episode. I changed, over a shirt I changed my outfit. Episode two extended. Jay changes outfit. Bro, I swear to God, I thought the shirt was just like a different shirt, like because I'm like he might just got three of the same shirts. First the thing I, I, I looked straight at him, and the first thing I had to say was, what "So, bro, did you wear the shirt?" I'm, and just notice this bullshit they doing. I'm a real nigga. I was able to. I'm still here to be honest. Like, yo, I didn't have time to hit to the crib. I had the same shirt. It is what it is. Let's talk about honesty, bro. Mm. We always be trying to like eliminate our actions with honesty, bro. You still fucked up like that. Like just because you be honest with something don't mean. No, did I not say I fucked up? Did I not apologize and and, and dealt with it? Okay. Alrighty then. So because what did I you talk about? about? Prince y'all shit, bro. And I don't. I, 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 just because I make a mistake, don't be disrespectful. I ain't being. Let that shit be what it is, bro. Just let it be about the shirt. Don't start talking about the brand. Wait, That's not nah, wait. wait I love you. He's about to say something. Yeah, I would I never say, about any... say some crazy shit. I like. Don't Why would that, I ever man. say that? I don't know. I don't know. You wilding right now. Maybe the little is one of the fucking okay best I, I just saw them ever. You know? hey. I appreciate you. Thank you. You know what I mean. Back to these jokes. Go ahead. I was just saying, bro. You wore... so did you wear the shirt from Sunday to Sunday? Fuck you. No. <laughs> Fuck you. How about that? I think uh <laughs> So wait, what the but what, what does that Go ahead, nigga, move on. What does Stars you about to say something? Profound. I ain't get what the hell. No, nah, don't let this nigga though. talk. Don't let this nigga talk. Go ahead, Stars. Say something fly, okay? <laughs> this nigga <laughs> so awesome right there. Yo, um, yeah, yo, yo, he tried to make the clip and I ain't letting it happen. Fuck uh, that star. Yeah, yo, yo, I star. told y'all y'all like the social that? media shit. What was we talking about about yo, Polo G album? Now y'all fucking the show up because y'all so scared. Tell me about Polo G album. Who was producing on Polo G album? No, no, no. I want to talk about something that you sent me, Jay, and I want to do that if, you know, I know we towards know the back end, but I definitely want to bring this up because you just sent it to me. I think it's important. Oh my God, bro. Don't do that. Yo, I'm not scared, nigga. The fuck? Is it possible for a man to be monogamous? Is it possible? Yes, it's impossible. That's not what I sent you. That's not no, it's not. Saying. No, no, no. Is it logical? Do I agree with it, basically? Do you agree with Nick Cannon basically saying, I'm going to do my thing out here. I'm going to spread this love and I'm going to just enjoy my women as they come. No, I, and I, think, I, don't, I don't think it's possible to be with one woman. No, I think I, I think I, I do. I understand his concept, but I think it's very selfish as men to feel like oh that's what God. it is. Wait a Ooh, minute. You say like it's self- Are you saying it's selfish for men for what? He's just saying, like, do you believe in the, the idea of men being monogamous and it that being what it's supposed to be? Supposed Nick's, to be Nick's saying it's, it's not natural for men it's to not be. Natural, yeah. That's what it's, Nick it's Cannon says. It's not natural to be a monogamous man. I don't think it's not natural. You're so, supposed to go around and it's basically not lay, lay but you What's wrong with that? Stars What's wrong with it go, not being Stars natural? about to go in his bucket for the fish and go fishing. He about to bait. He about so to panda. He going to do what he always do. He pander to the women. It's selfish. Yo, Stars is on this podcast to pander to women, bro. Please tell us why selfish Stars. Go ahead, yo. Tell us why we're wrong out here. Fuck it, yo. Tell Nikana. us why every uh, we, Muslim guy no, okay. is gonna be wrong. one woman. The cat no, was it's wrong. No, because what? Because, yo, like I think <laughs> now you got me being like the you woman. You can't even explain. Woman your knowledge. Thoughts. You're the woman whisperer. Go ahead. Yo, whisper I'm to the, the vagina. Woman Go. whisperer. I yeah, like that JS so. one. No, I mean I think it's not. I think it, I do think it's uh, it's wild to think that we supposed to be able to do everything. Why? Like, why? Because we don't expect women to do you anything. Said, you said wait, wait. You, it's wild to think what we supposed that to do everything. Men can just fuck whoever they want, and women can't. It is wild. No, come on. All right, this is why I think is I think it is. Unnatural. I'm gonna be honest. What's unnatural? Monogamy for men. I'm gonna tell you why. Okay. And even for women, let me not just say that. I think it's, it's, it's unnatural because your body, when temptation is real, right? Mm-hmm. Your body yearns something else. You have to be in control of your body to be monogamous sometimes, a lot of times for men, mm-hmm. right? And I think that's what's so special about love for me. So for me to say that it's natural, I, that for me, that would be me saying that my love for you is easy. And I, I don't think it is. I think to be a single man or, or to be in a monogamous relationship for me i can't speak for all men i feel like it is hard and i do want some some appreciation for my faithfulness and, and, and my monogamy i do you know what i'm saying because it's not easy for me so to, to say that it's not easy is for me to say it's not natural because whatever is natural i think comes easy that's just my opinion now there's other things that women do that i don't think men can do and get, get away with so we can't just say i, I hate when we, we we magnify one small part of something like you said it's not fair for men to just be out here and fuck all the bitches they want it's so many things that women can do. It's not fair for them to do that they can do and we can't. But uh, I'm sorry. My, my follow-up question to that, great statement, by the way, uh, is why can't women fuck who they want to fuck? We just because we want to go and, and, and we feel as be with many we, women. We, why we, can't a woman really be with many that, women? That like a pussy get big as shit because it got a bunch of dicks in it. Wait, and, what? Like, <laughs> what? Wait a minute. This is my entire... Where, like, where, where are you getting... See, now here you go on some fuck shit. You're reaching so bad. Yeah, it's yeah, so bad. Right 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 like, you're making... Like, who, who thinks that? They have... No, in general, women, we don't want... We don't want... Go back. Like, men don't about? want a woman who's 
been experienced, but they want them to be yeah, that's true. ready when we get there. Wait, that's man, true. No, 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 that's not true at all. They want them to be the freakiest, most no, experienced no. people Stop. That's when they get to. Now, as a 20 year old you want a woman to know what she's doing when she gets to you, right? So you want your bitch to know what Every woman you've had sex with, you got her whole facts. Every every one you've ever- I didn't say that, but every woman- Exactly, because you don't give a fuck. Now, what he said is- What I'm saying is- In our perfect world, we would want a woman that's not touched, but still know what she's doing. Yeah, that's is. exactly what- And that's that okay, and, I, and I'm okay with, I'm, I'm, I would never deny that. I would never deny that. All I'm saying is- I'm actually cool with women who have experiences like in a past and like now they just understood like, all right, I, and then like I started fucking like with one nigga every two years and shit like that. Like I want to find somebody like, but if you say like when I was at 19, like- That's what I, I said fucking, as a 21 year old. I, I, I had a little whole face. I ain't mad at a whole face. A whole face gonna show you everything you want to do to me. And I want you to do it to me. No, 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 no. A whole face to me is you getting all that shit out the way so now you can just be with me. Honestly. And know what to do with you. I mean, I can teach you that. I'm just saying, because I, I got, I got, I yeah, can tell you what to do. All I'm saying is a whole face to me, because I feel like, I mean, personally, all my ladies out there, I feel like you should, you should be with a nigga that didn't got a lot of bodies, because for me, probably got it out of system. But you want a girl who had a lot of bodies, so she got it out of her system? That's what I just said. I said I'm talking about, but also become sexually bro, experienced. I ain't, I'm just, for me, it ain't about the experience. I feel like you be trying to twist my words up, and I mean what I, what I oh say. Oh my God. All I'm saying is, I want a chick that had a whole phase, not because the experience, but because, well, not because the sexual experience, but because of the experience with men that when she get with me, she don't have to be with somebody else. That's why, not because of the sexual experience. And I mean that. Now, back to monogamy not being a good thing. We never said the good thing. We said natural. Is it natural? I don't know. Oh, but is it a good thing? For it. But is it a good thing? I mean, thing? I, I like having sex with women, but well, I think everybody does. What? I also think every woman likes scenario. having sex with men. What scenario? Say if uh, AIDS was a real big thing, you know what I'm saying? Like AIDS, AIDS is, is a, a big thing. No, no, I'm talking about, I'm talking about it's not on, as like... big as, yo, calm the fuck down. Let me finish a sentence, nigga. I know you want to go off for the last, but come on, yo. I'm saying it's not as big as it was in the 80s. So yes, monogamy, yes. I don't want my dick to fall off. So yeah, I'm gonna stick to one vagina to make sure it's clean. And we test it on a regular to make sure it's not toxic. You know, it's 2021 now, not as big as it used to be. You know what I mean? They even got cures for it. So like, yo, niggas could be a little bit more reckless than they were. But monogamy, not as important anymore. But we got condoms too. We do have condoms, but we do, do we like have the condoms, ones. Jay? <laughs> or do we like the splash lot. We definitely got condoms. We got them, but is niggas grabbing condoms, Jay? Yeah. I'm just saying, like, in the, not me. I'm, I'm talking about in general, like nah, niggas yeah, in general. Yeah, because you don't use condoms. So nah, we got condoms. I like fucking one woman, so I don't have to. The fuck? There nah, you I go. Lie. Nah, I ain't gonna lie. We gotta, we gotta normalize the the monogamy part because, yeah. No, yo, uh, let's the be one honest. woman thing is, is Come important. On, let's have, a, let's let's be honest between the three of us, bro. If there was no diseases on the planet and sex was completely safe with no condoms, no matter what it was, and let's just say that every woman had two weeks every month where they couldn't get pregnant, no matter how much you nutted in her, yo, you'd be having orgies a lot more on a regular, right? Jay, we yes, man. But the picture's beautiful, it does, but no, the picture's but, great. But but it does the exist. Great. Yeah, that's what I'm saying though. It but that's this. But no, that's why I'm. I'm that's pro what I'm to, saying. Monogamy is not normal. But, but no, that's a, a pro. But that is a pro to a monogamous relationship because condom sex ain't really good though. Nope, trash. It ain't good. Super so trash. I think trash that is a pro sex. for monogamy. Honestly, yep. I just feel like yo, I don't think it's it's natural. But that's why my love should be more appreciated because it ain't natural for me. So appreciate my love. I appreciate my faithfulness. I think this is really weird. <laughs> Cause he looking at you dead in your eyes while he said. <laughs> yeah, I was really looking at the fucking camera, oh, and I had this world? conversation before. No, like, that's why I don't understand it. I, when you sent it to me, it just was like, it's like, damn, yo niggas is so so fucking. Just, so this nigga needy? thing, it's like it's weird. Like the same thing that like, women so weird? needy in love. It's like niggas be really. We, we both yeah. equal, that's, and that's what I was saying. We both equally needy in in our own parts. So mm -hmm. I think you know. Women have a lot of shit with them too. You feel me? Like super. So yeah, and there's a lot of things that women can get away with, like putting their hands on a nigga, and and it, and it, and it just won't escalate how it will escalate if a nigga put his hands on a woman. I mean, to be honest. So I feel like at the same time they have their things with them, and we have our things with us. So monogamy just might have we one of them, but they got some shit with them too. Mm -hmm. Period. I'm just asking. And I see, is I, I see how the, the room sh sh shaked up. See y'all, y'all, it's y'all. I'm gonna be me. I feel like the room shook up I because feel, I feel like it's you weird and now. Uncle Nearest right Who now. Be weird, yo. Ain't nobody. I'm trying to help you. I'm trying to be on your side, but I'm right, be on my side, bro. I love you. Yeah. What you love me? Hey, yo, it's part of it. What time yo, we at? Here we, we at, go. Gio. This shit, like, bro. You is fishing. I'm asking. I'm not fishing. I genuinely want to know how you feel answer this, about answer this question. That monogamy you, 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 with a man. You a grown like, man out here to do what you want. You're not married. You ain't got no ring yet. Nope. So like, you trying to tell me if this was more generally accepted around the world as as a social thing, socially accepted. Mm -hmm. You trying to tell me you wouldn't have two girls? Man, I'm Just sorry, friend. Random. He is so fucking full of shit. I would definitely have two girlfriends if I could. And you can have them right now. Mm. 
I'm maybe because you don't have enough time. I'm busy time. as shit. Yeah, I'm busy That's what I'm shit. saying. Like, if you have more free time, one why not? too much for me, for real. I mean, they lived in the same house together. They I mean, come friends. on. You, you naming up. You talking about some real amazing ass lives. That's not amazing. I wouldn't. Honestly, it's normal. I wouldn't have two girlfriends. It's normal. If you have two girlfriends that are also into each other. But you bro, can make you it normal. You got money. Bro. You can make it normal. You no, must not be rich. Because no, I don't want this to say No, I don't even like talking to more than fucking one girl for a But you just said that was amazing. That's, that shit don't if sound amazing to me. you have two girls and then they also in each other and then they also No, like that don't that. sound amazing to me. They could be helping Why? out still. They could be Hold spending up. money. Why is it not amazing? Bro. You know how much money you spend on You're one? talking about they an both alpha. Why, why, why can't they have two jobs too? In a harem waiting for you to wait, wait, wait. You the fuck him. <laughs> yeah, right. He, he, he just fucking, imagined a two-year-old that's just sitting bitches, in the room all naked, day long. Sitting in the middle of the bed waiting for 5.30 when <laughs> you get home so you can sex them. No, they're not waiting for- And feed them and yes, take them out to- Yes, they're waiting to get fed. They're hungry. You're not R. Kelly. This is not a fucking- Wait, what the fuck? That guy should do with me R. Because R. Kelly had two bitches. Oh, he also fucked chill. What are you- don't ever put me in the same category when we talk about sex and women. You said he had two Kelly, girlfriends. But he also fucked teenage kids beforehand. And he was pissing on bitches. That right, was a little like, weird. I just, did see him bro, piss on bitches. That was awkward. Wait a minute. Fuck. Stars, you pissing on bitches? Don't lie. I mean, that's Have a part. Some bitches? people sex like I went that. on tour for 70 cities. So, so a lot of stars wild shit. has officially pissed on bitches. So like, no, it's I'm a different level. That at all. But I mean, I said, that's a right, yo. We're not talking about pissing on minors, though. What are we talking about? Why Wait a minute. So pissing is okay as long as they over 18. You a man I love Some girls are into that. That's... So you pissing on bitches? No, too? but I'm pretty sure it's a category in Yo, porn. There's a that lot of fun. pissing going on around here. <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty sure it's a category in porn. You, you just spitting bitches' pissing mouths toilet. and that's cool. Yeah, but, but you can't piss on a bitch. The fuck? I never did it. I never wanted to. I never to. said you can't. I'm just saying y'all pissing on bitches. No, but I'm you spit on your bitch mouth? Uh, yes. <laughs> but that's different. But dude, that's different. But yo, you so just trying to get me caught up. And it's not happening. I literally just stars. I literally just met. Yo, you better not say nothing about what I like in my sexual preference because. I literally just heard you say, I want a freak nasty bitch. Like, if I want my ass ate, she gonna be okay to eat my ass. Right. You just but I'm that. not saying I want my ass ate. You just said, but right. I want, I want her to be ready. When do we have a hard camera ready. conversation about JS1 ass game? <laughs> no, no, no. Well, yeah, you're not gonna misconstrue my words. You, you said, said I said, I want her nasty enough that if I wanted my ass ate, she would be like, let's go, daddy. I'm, a, I'm gonna Why is that the example, I would never even think <laughs> about that. Example. Why? I want her to look like. She uh, she she's ready to eat my ass at the moment. I just want her to be nasty. You like as that. a bigger man want your ass ate. Wait, no, I don't want, want my ass ate ever. Wait, tell me, tell me, tell me. I don't want no white in my ass. This podcast is going too far because why does him being a bigger man got to do with any of it? I'm just saying, like, I don't understand. Y'all niggas are disgusting. <laughs> What's going on? I, 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 I would think he would be more cautious and like business. He the one talking about. So you okay with this shit too? No, I don't want. I don't want nobody around my ass ever. But you said as a bigger man, you want to lick a fat bitch ass. We ain't say that. Uh, I about? wouldn't though. That's not the ass eat. I'm, I'm gonna so go for. So you only lick her ass hole. Wait a minute. So I mean, it's a lot more. They got a wash. Only than applicable other to skinny girls. Wait, wait, wait. So you wait, wait. Tell me. So you're not gonna eat a fat girl ass? I, that's not gonna be the first ass if I'm gonna eat ass. No, wow. it's not. Because if I'm gonna try to ass eat, I wanna make sure it's enough that I can see. You know so what I mean? What's going on? Woman now. Bro, no, it's like more. You gotta check. You know when you lick. <laughs> <laughs> yo, what, what is going on? Hey, yo, there's nothing wrong with that. You a bigger nigga, you gotta take more time in the shower. That's a real <laughs> yo, fact. Yo, <laughs> fuck this thing. Yo, y'all have taken enough shots yo, at you, me on this yo, yo, I don't wanna ever be I, on here. I can like officially say I do not like this podcast. I, I do not, Jay, not like this podcast. Hey, 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 <laughs> real talk, but Jay, I mean, I mean. Yo, if you, if you say something about a big nigga getting his ass on eight, yo, no, but actually, you, you put deodorant under your uh, chest? Did he? Damn. <laughs> Is that what we doing? Is that what we doing? <laughs> Oh my is God. Is that what we doing? Y'all niggas is That's what we doing? Funny, oh, we done crossed the line. Today. That's crossing the line? I'm sorry. That's crossing the line. I, 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 that's some shit. Oh, wait. I that's some is it crossing the line? But you just want a girl to eat your ass, but I can't tell what you're I never said I wanted her to eat my ass. I wanted her to be willing and ready to eat my ass. I ain't gonna lie. Hey, 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 stars. <laughs> we talk about. There's a difference. <laughs> we talk about do you want a firecracker or a reserve chick? I ain't gonna lie. That's why you want a firecracker. I want a chick that know that knows how worth enough to know that if I ever, 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 Ask you, I'm sorry. If I ever ask you some wild shit like that, you will get me the fuck out the way because I don't want you to be okay with that shit. I'm sorry. You don't want. Don't like you don't example. want. You don't want a girl to love you enough that if you decided you wanted to get your asshole ate, she go ahead I and lick it I up. want my girl to love me enough to know that she would die on the cross for me, but not eat my ass. I'm sorry. She would die on the she cross. She would die on the cross for me, but not eat my ass. Mary Magdalene. So you want her to die before she eat ass, ass of you? I'm sorry. You're, you're eat ass of you. <laughs> <laughs> 
Not make an ass of you. Not make an ass of you. But he asked. <laughs> like you want to jump it's okay off the for cliff. her to make an ass of you, but she can't. So, eat so your God ass. come down like, yo, she, Shawty can jump off a cliff, or she can eat your ass. You like, yo, you can just jump, jump off, the just cliff. jump, just baby. Jump. <laughs> just jump. I need my manhood. Because <laughs> once you do that, I don't know what the fuck. The woman whisperer. Am I a man at this point? Because I don't know what's going on. I don't know. All jokes aside, no. I just women, want to clarify that, that this something. nigga no. said you're not a man if you get no, your ass away. No. I just want you to clarify it. Some more. Say it again. Go right into the please. Go into his comment sections. And let that nigga know how you feel about that shit. Yeah, like, you can. Because I'm just no, saying, if I get my toilet, my talk. Next week, if I we get my salad about toilet, gays in the military. If, if be I, tuned in. Y'all I ain't not, not like be talking about I'm not, Listen, all I'm saying is, bro. I'm not, I'm not saying, bro, at the end of the day, you gay if you, you get a man, your asshole. No, nah, I'm not, bro. No, I ain't saying none of that. If you're a man, if you like your asshole, you gay. Hit me out. You like what you want. You can do what you please. And you can have done to you what's pleased. All I'm saying is, for me, yeah, I don't know. I don't know how, but I, it, I like have myself. I have talked to women who like you know hey, they went the nigga there's some niggas out here who who with the who with the booty look and it be, <laughs> it be and it be majority of older niggas that be with that shit don't don't, don't, you don't even do that, that don't even do yo majority yo this niggas. yo this nigga is really going in today yo what is going on yo hey, yo I don't know I'm not yo. old I'm not an older nigga is yet. that what we doing today oh, like, yo talk about you. Yeah, you is we squaring up way. yo we squaring over today we squaring up today all right we squaring up today now that's exactly what's gotta happen. Yo, we we gotta take this outside. No fight, we gotta take this outside. Nah, yo, you and your Birkenstocks, yo, we doing a whole, yo, we. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, some thirty shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I would like, never thought I would like some yo, shit like this. This nigga is extra confident with the dirty socks on and the Birkenstocks. They yo, not dirty, on, actually yo. clean. They just came out the drawer. back to clothes yo, in this motherfucking set. Shits, man. Man, look, man, I'm fly. I fuck both y'all niggas. All right, uh, how much? Where we at, Gio? Yes, please, yo, get us out of here. Yo, uh, I guess we fucking done. Say the last words, Jay. Yo, listen, man. Y'all might not like this podcast. Y'all might not like this podcast. Mr. J. Hill, Johnny Crowder. I, yo! <laughs> <laughs> yo, what the fuck, nigga? Yo, all right. We squaring up at this. Nah, nah, take uh, us out. Take us out, bro. Go it's ahead. all good. No, 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 no. You just talked about my Jesus slippers, bro. I knew it was going to come to this. I said this on my own podcast. I said, yo, one day me and J. Hill got to fight. Why, why, why would we do that? Because, yo, I know he's going to win my ass. So you've been putting this into the well, universe. Why the fuck would you ever? Nah, I would, yo, cause that's how it is, yo. You just you look like you look like a wrestling ass nigga. Like you want to grab a nigga and squeeze him. Why hard. you gotta turn some shit into some gay shit? Why it just can't be a regular fight? Why it then gotta turn into some guy? Why you wanna be every time I see big niggas, niggas, niggas fight, they grab niggas. Yo, niggas wanna be hugging and grabbing and wrestling. Jay was a wrestler. I'm not wrestling. No, I'm not wrestling no nigga. What can he wrestle by? What was his wrestling name be? Chris Show. Y'all may not like this podcast. I'm done. We out of here.